Bruh. Oh, the stream has started. Good shit. Bruh. Watch live latte zero slash latte. <laughs> Commission plus banjo art stream. Wow, you're gonna do both? Uh, Watch live latte zero. Maybe. I kind of want to go for both. You do that. I'm gonna open the stream up. Oops. What? I can't type in it. Okay, there we go. First. You have a thumbnail for when you're live? No. What is that symbol in my notification? Cyvax, welcome to the stream. Grab yourself a warm beverage of your choice, or don't. It's up to you, and enjoy the sounds of Mario Sunshine. We're gonna look for some Mario Galaxy music after this, though. Here's the symbol that shows up when you're live in my notifications. Okay. Um, I know what it is. Kira wants me to play Mario Galaxy music, and frankly, I like the music of Mario Galaxy, so we're gonna see if we can find yeah, a chill nice. one. Find some chill. Some Galaxy and chill. Dude, I drink a warm beverage every morning. Oh yeah. Gets me going for the day. Oh yeah. What is that? That's like I've never seen that before. My like stream art, I guess. I don't know. Maybe they have that set up as my. Is that still my YouTube banner? Actually. It's probably your. Let me see. I think that's what that is. I think that's because of my YouTube banner. Yeah, it is. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Interesting. I mean, I still like that art, so I'm just going to keep it there anyway. Even though it doesn't make any sense anymore because I'm not level zero. Level zero. Actually, Hunter came up with that, and it's like really clever. Let me... It is uh, clever because I see L, Z, and the... And that it, it forms uh, a zero. <laughs> yeah. It's freaking smart as hell. Yeah, boy. He came up with that a while ago. Back when I was level zero. Oh, and the, the black would be the I for infinity. Oh, mm -hmm. right. I keep forgetting that part of your name. Yep. Freaking genius kid dude he's so good at freaking graphic is... design oh yeah hello ryu welcome to the stream grab yourself a warm beverage of your choice or don't i don't give a shit dude and uh enjoy the sounds of mario sunshine we're gonna I, i'm trying to decide on whether i want to do the commission first or banjo first but one of those things is going to happen I hope y'all are enjoying yourselves. What are you going to do today, Kira? I'm going to draw my character, Kira. Yay! Yay! More Kira. I, s I saw a tweet just now that is that was made a day before the direct that says Banjo is dead. Banjo is not in Smash. Banjo is never coming back. Banjo, cl <laughs> Banjo fans are clowns forever. That tweet didn't age very well. Dude, there is a... Uh... There, there is a uh, tweet that somebody made saying like everyone who re like a really um, 
high level Smash Ultimate player was like, everyone who retweets this tweet, I will give you an hour of training um, in Smash Ultimate if Banjo makes it in. Y'all are fucking crazy. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> he got 10,000 retweets. Oh my and when, God. <laughs> when, the, when Banjo got announced, he was like, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't set yourself up like that. Because you know it's gonna happen. <laughs> he brought it's, it upon himself. And now he hilarious. has to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's an L I'm willing to hold. GG's outplayed by Splatoon. <laughs> I mean, Nintendo, not Splatoon. My bad. Okay. Discord tweeted, Nintendo, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think today, I think we're gonna start with commission, so. <laughs> I need to grab the reference you sent me. There it is. I commissioned the latte boy to draw the big boy of my island. Yes. I am doing a commission for Kira today, in fact. <coughs> This boy right here. This is who we're. This is who we're drawing. I'm very excited about it. I love Percival. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And hopefully, Kira likes my interpretation of him. Of course, because I wanted to see him in your style. Because I like your style. Hell's yeah. Oh, boy. Like, <laughs> boy. 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 Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, excuse me. Wow. Cool. I'm gonna try to do the line art again. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm over here really wanting to play some Animal Rail. I know you do, I know you do, but not right now. You got time later. <laughs> I'm so close to level 20. I'm, I'm excited. Matter. I get my woofs! I get the wolf, Kira. The wolf? Yeah, oh, the level wolf. 20. Yeah, I get my wolf. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. When are you gonna draw your douchebag raccoon boy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Kira. When am I gonna draw my douche cat, douchebag you, raccoon boy? Douche cat? <laughs> my douche cat raccoon boy. <laughs> you said you would. I know. I do want to draw him, because he is cute. It's adorable. Adorable Hey, I love his hat. Yeah, he is his cute hat. Douchebag still, but he's a cute douchebag. You're a douchebag. Douche, douchebag. I was just about to sing it. We'll get copyright strike. But the... But, but your favorite Martian is fucking dead. I wonder if Universal or whatever that made that deal with Ray, I wonder if they still hold the rights on your favorite Martian, even to this day. Oh, that... That'd be hilarious. I have a feeling they don't. You're a douchebag. Uh, you're a douchebag. Uh, no, you're a douchebag. Uh, no. Wanna fight about it, cunt? <laughs> yes. Call me a cunt again. Cunt. <laughs> 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 no, there was nothing to serve the purpose of that, I just love it. Cause you're a fucking, what is it called when you like paint upon yourself? Masochist. You're a masochist and you want, you want to be called a cunt. I know, I know, it's your thing. Yeah, I get it. Wow, I am not a masochist. Don't, 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 don't start spreading information. <laughs> don't spread rumor. Don't, don't spread misinformation like that. All right, sorry, you're a sadist. My bad. That may be true. <laughs> you fuckass. 
That just like gave me like homestuck <laughs> deja vu. Wait, what? Fuck ass. That's like, some, that's like something that Car Cat would say. Oh my god. <laughs> really? I had no idea. Yeah. God, I haven't thought about the homestuck in forever. <laughs> the only good thing about homestuck is the trolls. In the time, well, no, there's actually some pretty great characters in homestuck that aren't the trolls that you wouldn't know about. Mm. Like the dogs. Oh yeah, dogs the dogs. I, I like those two. Though. And the wanderers, but uh, somebody put in perspective uh, in a tweet the other day, in the amount of time that it took for Kingdom Hearts three to come out after Kingdom Hearts two, the entirety of Homestuck was complete. Whoa. And that feels weird, putting that into it, that perspective. Is really weird. My Homestuck is finished now. It is. I, okay. Yeah, it's been finished. That's weird to think about. I kind of fell off it during Act 6, but when the ending came out, I had to watch it. I didn't really miss a whole lot, so it's alright, but... Mm. You don't know anything about Homestuck? Me well, neither, Ryu, it's okay. Uh, that would be the case for a lot of people if you didn't like grow up with it at the time that it was like really big, because I was like... Uh, I think I was at least, like, 16. Yeah, oh. it was, like, it became a thing back in, like, 2000. 2011 or something like that? 2011, 2011. or 2010, yeah. And, yeah, I was, yeah. like, 12. I was, I was really, I mean, it was already in Act 5 by the time that I got into it. Um, which is, Act 5 is around when the troll stuff starts happening so that's when it got really big like because mm -hmm. everybody fell in love with the trolls but um i i definitely rushed my way you know everybody all my friends were like you know just like give it a read like you might enjoy it if you don't like it after the first act or so then you know it's just not for you but i read the first act and i was like okay this premise is really fascinating, and I just ended up busting my way through all the way t up to the current timeline. Busting it up to it. Which, by the way, <laughs> Homestuck is really fucking long for anybody who wants to read it. Yeah, it is. And I can understand yeah. why it's totally daunting. You're like, uh -uh, I'm yeah. not going to put all that time into that. Exactly. It's a lot easier exactly. for someone who's been following it for a long time. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I don't hate the friend. I don't think anybody really hates Homestuck. It's more the well, not, not fan anymore. Base. I mean, it, it used to be. Yeah, the very uh, hated. Yeah, you're right. And I admittedly was one of the haters, but Andrew as a Hussey child, did you know, nothing wrong. He didn't do anything wrong. It's just you, when you're a child, you're really you just easily go into those bandwagons. Mm -hmm. But I appreciate now that what he he's done. Yeah, that series is amazing. Yeah. Um, Even if you don't like Homestuck, it's amazing what he's done. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't always great. I mean, friggin' Act 6 is where it really just, like, fell apart for me. Like, I think that... I think it was similar for most people, too. Act 6... What happened? Um... It was, like, a big reset. La new... New characters were... A lot of new characters were introduced... Um, in Act 6, including, like, ancestral versions of all the main four characters that you've been following for so long. And I get it, I guess, because Act 5 was, like, such, like, peak moment. Act 5 Part 2 was, like, so climatic that it was, like, okay, well, if you're gonna continue this, then we gotta kinda, like, we gotta, like, take it down a level, like, ten levels, and they did. But there was just, like, so many characters cropping up, and so many rules being made, and, like, plot just going fucking everywhere, and I was just like, I don't know, I just couldn't keep up with it anymore, I just didn't mm. find it all as interesting as it was before, because it was more, it was complicated, but it wasn't enough to where, like, you could still follow what was happening 
Okay. For me personally, there was like a point in chat. There was a point in Act Six where I was just like, God, I don't even. I don't even know if I really fucking understand what's going on anymore <laughs> in this uh, in this story, so I just stopped following. That must it. have been the case for more people, though. It probably was, because Act Six tends to be a dropping off point for a lot of Homestuck fans. Ah, uh, um, yeah, that's what I've heard too. Yeah, I would say if you want to know how amazing Homestuck is, and you're not afraid of spoilers, I guess. It's huge yeah. spoilers, but you could watch the you could watch the episode um, Act Five Cascade. It's a whole animated part. It's fucking amazing. You're not really gonna understand what's happening because you had to have been following the story to know why it's so climatic and all the shit that's going on during it, but. It really is like a, a beautifully animated, and it's like fucking 13 minutes long. <clears throat> but it was just such a huge moment for Homestuck. You can find reaction videos everywhere of girls crying over Cascade. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. But... When was it made, that one? Oh my god, I think that was 2013. Oh, okay, because, okay, Homestuck must have been still as really big by then. It was mm -hmm. big for a few years now it's not as big anymore obviously because it's over mm. yeah i mean even before like it kind of stopped being as big as it was for quite a while probably because of uh act six yeah pretty much <laughs> but i'll check that out in a some time i forgot how much i knew about that series <laughs> I, have... I didn't know you knew that much about that series I have the first two acts on my bookshelf. Oh shit, wait. Was there were physical products? Yeah. They made books. Sweet. I really have considered getting the other parts too, like just cause like I have part one and two and I kinda wanna get three, four, and five. I probably won't pick up six unless I really want it, but I would love to have five. <laughs> Everyone aligns themselves though with their uh, what's what's the word? Uh, their horoscope troll. Ah. Oh. And I, I personally like the one that Let's my see. horoscope has. Um, Which one is it? I'm gonna try, I'm trying to remember his name. Oh man, what is what is his freaking name? I know so many of the characters' names, but I can't remember his. Wait. I'm gonna feel so stupid if I look this up and I forget what it is. <laughs> I'm looking mine up. Solux! Gosh dang it. It's... Solux! Oh, the, the most popular one, too. He was super popular. Solux has the uh, 3D glasses, but he's blind. Um, yeah, that one. I fucking love Solux. Isn't he the guy who, like, types very weirdly, too? They all type a little weirdly. Well, like, he has, like, numbers and stuff. Mm -hmm. That is Terezi. Oh, that is Terezi. Terezi okay. speaks in Leet speak. And she is probably the most popular oh. troll, I would say, out of all of them. Well, he had a unique way he was typing. I don't remember. I can't... Oh, he always doubled his eyes, I think. There you go. Yeah, that's because he was... Because he was Gemini. And yeah. he replaces his S's with twos. Um... But, um, I... hmm? uh, but Taylor's was Terezi, and she loves that character to death. Uh, mine's Gamsey. I'm okay with that. Oh my god, wait, you're a fucking, you're a Capricorn? Is that what that is? Yeah. I feel so bad for you. <laughs> what? Why? Because he's like a terrible person. Oh no. Gamsey is an oh, awful no. character. I mean, I love him, but he's an awful character. <laughs> Oh, did he do bad? Is that why? Oh, yeah. He's, like, a really bad person. Oh, fuck. <laughs> he's supposed to be, like... He's supposed to be, like, a juggalo. Like, uh... A really, like... A really big fan of, um... Insane Clown Posse. Hmm. <laughs> so he, like, talks... Like, he's, he like, a gangster. A... Oh, I see. Fuck. What the fuck? 
And, I, was, uh, <laughs> I was Nepeta, because Nepeta is dumb. Oh yeah, Nep Nepeta. She's freaking she's cute. She's cute. Yeah, she's, she's super adorable. cute. She's adorable, I love her. Everybody loves Nepeta. And Equius, the, the coupling. Cute. Saccharine disposition. Tackle slide. Part where she tackle slides her best friend through a field of sugar. I'm sorry, none That's of this shit's going. Thing <laughs> none of this shit's gonna make sense to anybody I know, who it has make never any heard sense, this. But it thing. sounds, it sounds really cute. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> Just none of it's gonna make sense to anybody who has never read Homestuck before, which is hilarious. Holes mad. Holes mad. I, I actually thought I like forgot most of this shit. I'm kind of surprised that I remember. Yeah, how are you? How do you remember all this? so fucking invested in it <laughs> i guess so if you put john's i remember one amazing meme where if you put john's awakening in homestuck to the theme of fireflies by owl city it's almost uncanny how fucking perfect it is and it's hilarious maybe it was inspired or something <laughs> no because it has its own music what yeah uh, oh by the way i'm sure most people know about this, but Toby Fox wrote like all the music for Homestuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the that's the thing. And the music and in Homestuck he did a good is job. fucking awesome. Yeah. He did an amazing job with that. Ooh. Well, I certainly wasn't expecting to talk about Homestuck for <laughs> a bit of the stream. I don't even remember what started it. I just went on a tangent. Oh yeah, it's because you said fuck ass. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it all started because I said fuck ass. Because that's something that Car Cat would say. I used to. I, know. I used to do fan dubs. Uh, oh. Where I voiced this Car Cat. Oh, nice. Is I, it I on don't, YouTube? Yes. I don't know if it's still public though. Let Damn me. It. I'm actually. Let me look it up real quick. Oops, I accidentally stopped the music. I'll go back to it in a second. Um... You know what? I think I took it down. Ah. Yeah, it's definitely not on YouTube anymore. Damn it! I want to hear it. We were at... Where were we at? There we go. But, it was a, a strange time where I used to talk like this all the time to Voices Car Cat. Cause That's I would like, say you were a fucking cute. fuck ass. I can't believe that you would do this shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> that fits him very well, actually. Um, based on his looks. That was I an old time. Him. Yeah. That that got a lot of views. At How the many? Time. Oh, oh I think I at least had like thousands of views on that fan dub. Oh man! People really liked that car, that interpretation of Car Cat, but it was so funny because it was on my Let's Play channel, and it would just like none of my videos ever got that type of like engagement, so it was just really weird for me. <laughs> Homestuck fans be strong, dude. Oh yeah, they're strong, strong people. Strong. Oh, strong. Music. I'll fuck your shit up. That's Nepeta. For sure. <laughs> I'm Nepeta. I'll fuck your shit up. I'm drawing the boy. <gasps> okay. 
Okay, you wanted his mask like half off. Yeah. Thankfully, that's the edgy shit I draw all the time, so it's alright. Now that you've uh, all heard my Homestuck seminar for what feels like 20 minutes, how y'all doing? Lovely day I'm we're having. Okay. Well, it's Pride Month, so enjoy that feeling. I was getting gay with my friend in Super Animal Royale lobby. I heard it was like six hours. Well, Y'all are fucking crazy. Yeah, but like the thing was, is like, we were like, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Hi, Riz. <laughs> Welcome to the what? stream. Grab your little bit more beverage of your choice or don't, and enjoy the sounds of Mario Sunshine before we move on to Mario Galaxy. And uh, today we're drawing a commission for Kira, and then Snap. some banjo. Um, let's just say me and SP were having fun in the party bush. And, like, Splicer Wolf came up. It was, like, Pride Month in full swing here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We were having a good time. The game is full of degenerate furries. <clears throat> Yeah, I was planning on doing the banjo OST while I do the banjo drawing, for sure. I lost it. Ah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <clears throat> ah. Oh god. Like that. I'm like a <laughs> motorcycle. <clears throat> Do you think Stan would ride a motorcycle? Oh, he'd look so cool doing that. Yeah. Mario Sun, Sunshine, Mario Sunshine, oh yeah. <coughs> Here's the fucker in his mask. Here's his fucking mask, motherfuckers. <laughs> oh yeah, look Have I ever thought about owning a cafe? Funny story, Riz. Um, yes. The short answer is yes. The <laughs> long answer is... Um, I really would like to, at some point, maybe soon, um, start learning how to properly brew some delicious coffee, because I really want to own a cafe, coffee shop, one day in my life, um, maybe in my retirement or something like that, when I'm you know, when I'm retired from being a therapist, which I don't know when that's ever going to be because I love my job so much. But, you know, that's what I want to do. If it's not when I retire, it's going to be my passion project is going to be owning a cafe. Something I very much want to do. Maybe something you do, like, um, on your free days? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. I don't like this eye... It. 
So, that is something I really do want to do. How does a boy like Draco come from his parents? Uh, I mean, in my mind, as the the species you you're born as doesn't really matter whether your parents are something like that. It's just kind of random, I guess. You don't have to have the DNA or something of the, <laughs> but I'm still trying to figure that out. So, Man, so if I like have a baby in Astui, it's like a fucking, it's like a lottery. On it's like a what? gamble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it, what's it gonna be this time? Wait, so does that mean, um, Twix's parents are not? Twix's parents are uh, Mew and Pachirisu because they were mm. not. <laughs> That's she, right. She's not from Astui originally. Mm. How many characters in Astui are parents? Uh, because oh all I God. really I was about to say all I know of is Felon. Yeah, uh, there's not Percival. really any parents yet. I haven't really made them. They mm. exist. I just haven't made them. I see. It's one of those cases where like you don't really <clears throat> see. The, it's one of those cases in, like in cartoons where you don't really see the parents ever, but you, they exist. You just never see them. Yeah. Understandable. Have a nice day. I think I want to draw something Essentia related for the weekly draw, but I haven't decided on what yet. Have you decided on team? Of course I have. Team cute. I've I've de I decided on that when I made the weekly draw. You pussy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> I called you a pussy for being team cute. Oh no, I'm not team cute. Oh. Oh. I'm not team creepy either. What? But. What? What are you then? Why would I tell you that? <sighs> You're fucking with me then. <laughs> <laughs> of course I'm not gonna tell you what team I'm gonna be on. All right, I won't tell you either. Cause I love. I know you're on Team Q. You just no, I'm not. You don't know. Shut. You dump shut, ass. Shut, <laughs> you dump ass. No, listen, Dumpy. It's Humpy see. Dumpy fell Humpty off the Dumpty wall. Humpy Dumpy, like, huh? <laughs> Why do you fall off the wall? How do you fall off a wall? <laughs> you think you're gonna get your answer by asking twice? <laughs> <laughs> I said why first, and then I said how. <laughs> um, why? I don't think there was really a reason. Uh, how? I mean, he fell. <laughs> <laughs> the, but the wall! Was he, like, stuck to it? <laughs> the, wall! <laughs> the wall! The wall, Leontay, the wall! The wall! The wall, you don't get it? The wall, that one wall. That one. That one. Yeah, over there. Oh, that one. Yeah. See it? I don't know which one you're talking about. You see it? No, All right, I don't well... see it. Alright. Hey, well, when uh... is my package coming in, by the way? Uh, supposedly in five days, but we'll see. Oh. I'm gonna see if I've gotten anything from... Uh, ship... Regarding shipping. Shipment! <laughs> Shipment! <laughs> Shit. Mm. Thank you for your Steam purchase. I don't give that shit. Okay. Last minute gifts for dads. Alright. Reg has the game now, by the way. Awesome. His little boy looks cute. I 
don't care about these lottery spam emails. All right. Oh yeah, I won't get a fucking me uh, fucking message about it because I wasn't logged in when I bought it. Damn. Oh yeah, it's on my account. Never mind. Maybe if you had the order confirmation number. Shut the. <laughs> fuck! There was like a whole night. Kira bought me a gift, right? And I don't know what it is, except I totally know what it is. And what is it then? Huh? I'm not gonna say it. And exactly. Uh, but she like, <laughs> she bought me a gift, and I was like, well, if you get, it. I mean, it's, I just kept bothering her about giving me the order confirmation number so I could like, <laughs> so I could have it. You know, like a friend. You give friends order confirmation numbers when you buy them gifts. No. It's like customary. You did not. What? Wait, what? Hold on, what? Ah, uh, the page I bought it from doesn't exist anymore. What the fuck? Are you serious? Did I just get scammed? Fuck off, Siri. Um. Oh, wait. I am still there, but. Uh. Mm hmm. Hmm. You've got to be kidding me right now. I'm sure it's fine. Are you sure? What site did you get it off of? Etsy. Then it should absolutely be fine. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't think I've ever had anything on Etsy not go through properly. They have like regulations on that so if if it didn't then you would absolutely talk to like you would email Etsy mm. customer service stuff. Yo, what's going on, Wolfang Gamer YT? Oh welcome to the stream. Grab yourself a warm beverage of your choice. Or don't, it's up to you. Listen to Mario Sunshine while I draw commission stuff. Uh commission prices is um I do nine dollars for nine dollars USD for a flat color commission. Let me see if I can find some examples real quick for you. Um, <whistles> gotta go to my Twitter real quick. Let's see, where's my flat color? Trying to find an example. Having a hard time. Because I post so freaking much. There we go. Okay, so. Uh, for a fully shaded commission, that's $18 USD. It will look something like this. And then for a flat color which is $9, it'll look something like this. So you don't get like the crazy amount of shading work and stuff that goes into it. You just get it uh, with the base colors with like a little bit of effects. All pictures come with a background like this. Um, and if you want an extra character, it's $5 extra. So you can always DM me on Twitter if you have one. Uh, about any inquiries. I Fritter probably does not have my voice. I don't know what voice Fritter would have, actually. I'm pretty sure I've been asked that question before. Kira would have my voice, though. Yeah, easily. <laughs> well... The seller's account does not exist anymore, so I don't know. I don't think I'll get to know if it's been shipped or not. Hmm. Well, you said it would be here in like a week, right? Yeah. All right, we'll see. What but happens. it says also July. So let me see what the date was for July. Mm mm mm. June 17th, 
to July 2nd. So between those days. If it doesn't arrive those days, I'm gonna contact Etsy. Yeah, I would do that. It's kind of wild. I don't yeah, think I've ever. Something new. I've, I don't think I've ever heard of like a scam happening on Etsy. But no, it's... it doesn't. It's mostly what happens is that like companies steal charms from like other sellers and sell it themselves. Mm-hmm. I have actually seen that before. Yeah. It's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. I need to close these. Or like traced art is like used for charms. That's also a thing. I apologize for the noise there, guys. You're going to hear a Windows pop-up sound. All right. <laughs> Big ol' floofer ear. Cute. Floof. Damn, he looks real- he already looks handsome as- <gasps> Fuck. What are you talking about? That. I think it just looks alright. I think it looks amazing. You glad you don't have to hear yourself? What's that, Riz? I'm. I feel like I'm one of the few people who's like, like. I don't want to like sound narcissistic by saying that I enjoy hearing myself, but I'm very satisfied <laughs> with my own voice, and maybe yes, that's just because I like doing commentary and radio talk and stuff like that. It's good to be satisfied with your voice because there are a lot of people who are, like self-conscious about it. Don't yeah. really like it very much. Yeah, I noticed that's actually like that. very, very common. Mhm. Mm I used to be like that, but hearing myself more in like videos and stuff, I'm used to it now. The only thing I hate about it is that it, how easy it is for people to think that I'm younger than I am. That's always weird to me. You do not sound like a child. Do I know it? No, I've never thought that. Not even once. Not even when you first heard me? Uh-uh. That's so weird. I would have people never do think thought I'm 12. That. I've heard... <laughs> you don't like your voice much? I'm sorry, Riz. Um, no, dude, I... From the first stream I heard you in, I never even would have, like, considered... Thank I know you. what I know what a twelve year old sounds like. You do not sound twelve. Mm, well, not twelve, but like you know, like a child. I I still wouldn't. I just don't know. I think it's so weird I that people know. do. Maybe because I try to sound older. I like your accent, Cybex. You have a nice accent, dude. You're a total chav. I'm just kidding, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're a total chav. No sh chav. I like British accents. Such a common thing to like, but like, c come on, British accents are cool. Chav times. My best friend lives in a very chav rural area, but he somehow didn't get the accent. Are you talking about Rocky? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's not a chap. He's the opposite. <laughs> he explained chav accent as like the, <laughs> the wigger talk of the UK. Kira's voice is calm and relaxing. 
How is it? How? I agree. Yeah, basically. Yeah, that's the whole Chav thing is that you're trying to sound like you're a badass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like a gangster. That's basically... That's basically what Wiggers here in... Or Wiggas, I guess, do here in... Uh, in America, they try to sound they try to sound gangster and try to sound black, and it just it just comes off as so ungenuine, like in every way. Wiggas? And then I have black friends who are like. Yeah, that's cringy. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what did you say? I white, still not. Uh, wiggas, like black, white people who try to sound black. Ah. Uh, like gangsters and stuff. They. That's just annoying. And then I and then I have like black friends who just like think it's like super cringy. <laughs> no, it's annoying and cringy. I like using that word, but it's it's the best way to describe it. That's cringe, bro. That's cringe, bro. You're gonna lose subscribe. <laughs> My best friend is black, and I'm. I mean, not that it matters. I don't even. Like, who gives a shit what your race is, as long as you're a good person. But yeah, my, one uh, of my best friends is black, and he's like one of the coolest people in the entire universe. And is... I love him very much. <clears throat> Neanderthal. <laughs> That's the N-word, is Neanderthal. This is an I'm interesting stream. I'm gonna say stream. the Neanderthal word. <laughs> This, this has been an interesting stream. <laughs> it has. Homestuck uh, and Chavs. And Race. Yeah, you want to know my, my feelings on Race? Mario Kart is a good game. <laughs> Okay, that's, here's a, here's that's... something about race. What? I was just gonna say that's that's no worries to me, Cyvax. Like as long as somebody is enjoying it, then then that's good enough for me. I'm gonna say something about race. Okay. Mario Kart for Wii is the most classic Mario Kart. I hard hard disagree. What? And you know who would agree with you on that? Who? Lux. I know he would. But no. Uh, I think you mentioned that a while ago. Um, no. It's very nostalgic. Mario Kart 64. <laughs> Never played it. <sighs> <laughs> I absolutely love Mario Kart 64. I like the way I did this I... thing. Okay, uh, but... Also double but... dash. Oh yeah, double dash. Mario Kart DS is the worst Mario Kart. No! 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 Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna fight. <laughs> we're gonna fight. I've played it twice and I didn't enjoy it. I love Mario Kart DS. I cannot believe you just said that to me. What do you meme? What huh? do I meme? What do I meme? Uh, no! Mario Kart DS <laughs> is amazing! <laughs> maybe I just... Maybe maybe if I played it again now, I would like it, because back then I was a child and I... All <laughs> those things. I didn't oh, enjoy it as a child. I just thought... Ah! What? No, hot take. The worst Mario Karts... <laughs> the worst Mario Karts is between... Uh, 
GBA, like Mario yes. Kart Super Circuit, is really bad. It's bad. It's um, bad. Super Mario Kart did not age well. Which one? Uh, Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo. It did not age well. I don't like that game. Oh! And I don't like Mario Kart 7 for the 3DS. That's also a bad one. <laughs> I actually did not enjoy 7 either. Yep. Actually, I did enjoy it. Like, it's worse than DS when I played it. I really don't enjoy Mario Kart 7. But I love yeah. 8. Yeah, 8 made up for it. I, I, that's my favorite Mario Kart is 8. It's perfect. I mean, my favorite's probably still in 64 Double Dash, but 8 comes really close. Oh, mm. we're done with Mario Sunshine. Let's look for Mario Galaxy music, shall we? Mario Kart music. <laughs> no, that's too intense. <laughs> it's too upbeat. Mario Galaxy OST relaxing. What do we got? Relaxing Mario Galaxy soundtrack. It's only 30 minutes. Oh, what wait. The Here's one that's longer. Um, New Super Mario Bros. DS is a nostalgic classic game. Yes. The multiplayer. Yes. That is so fun. Yes. Uh, I agree with that. I have uh, so much nostalgia for that. I... I'm indifferent to the other new Super Mario games, but the uh, first one, the first one yeah, for the first sure, one. I really love. The first loved. one is amazing. Both the multiplayer stuff and the single player stuff is just amazing. You know what? I'm really amazed fun. that they never brought back the multiplayer stuff. Like, yeah, ever. what's up with that? That's what a lot of people loved it. Mm -hmm. And it so was did I. really fun. <laughs> I have, like, I first played it when I was in America. My cousin had it. We played all night, just the multiplayer stuff, and it was it was fun. And I bought the game, and I want to go back to America. I know you want to go back to America. Take me there, latte. Maybe one day. Meet me, meet me in America, and take me through Indiana, specifically Gary. <laughs> wow, do you want to get us killed? No. <laughs> Take me to, um... It's like a terrible land. place. <laughs> I know, it is. That's why I said I'd <laughs> rather stay in my white people field. neighborhood. Take me to the cornfield. Take me down to the old town road. I wanna ride till I can't no more. Country music is good. That's something that's, not a lot of people say. That's the, uh... That's the song Old Town Road by Nas X featuring Billy Ray Cyrus, which got in some oh. amazing hot heat because the Country Music Awards wouldn't allow it because it's technically a rap song with <laughs> country instrumentals. And he was like, it's a country song. It is. What? <laughs> it's so funny. That's pretty stupid. It was f hilarious. Um. <sighs> And it sparked a big debate about, like, country music awards are biased against black people. And a part of me is like, y yeah, I mean, maybe a little. It is country music. Um, I actually love country music, so. It's good. Fight me, boys oh. and girls. Boys and girls. Look at them sexy eyes. I actually look at them sexy eyes on that one face. Look at them. Well, sexy I mean, he's eye. gonna have another one on the head. He's cute as fuck already. Really, I'm not sure if I captured him very well. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean you didn't capture him very, very well? I fucking love the starting planet music from Mario Galaxy. It's so good. It's so good. No, it's alright, Cybex, it happens. Let's, uh... Oliver play what? <laughs> Pokemon Ranch? No. I actually have never played it. 
It was like it was charming. It's not really a game. It's just a little pastime. It was a charming game. I remember having a lot of Pokemon there. So how do you feel about the uh, Pokemon Bank thing? Huh? Did you ever happen? What? No Pokemon that are in not included in the Galar region can be transferred. Say that again? So, let's say you have a Pikachu that you want to transfer from Pokemon Bank to the Galar region. You can do that, most likely, because Pikachu is in the Galar region. But say you want to do something like Shaman, a Pokemon that is not included in the Galar region decks. You can't do that. The bank what? won't let you move it there. Why? Why? Yep. And Why? Game Freak. And I thought to myself, okay, let's wait. I think what it's going to be is they're going to allow it after the national decks, right? Like, I feel like that would make sense. Once mm. you get the national decks, you can move any Pokemon to Galar region. Okay. No, that, uh, that's... That, game Freak confirmed that there's no national decks for this game. Yep. Why? What? Not all Pokemon would be in this game? Yep. No! I won't be able to transfer my babies! No! Yep. You gotta be kidding me. Man! I'm going to assume that they're what what my thoughts are is what 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 my, my thoughts are is they're releasing the game now uh, earlier than they normally would so that it can actually get out and then at the same time that it's being released and everything they're going to continue working on the models and shit for all the other pokemon and then they'll release an update later Hopefully, yeah. So that you can actually transfer all Pokemon. And I get that because... And I've thought about this so many times. But I get it. Right. There are yeah, over 800 Pokemon now. Exactly. So I, I feel like they are doing that. Which I, is a good thing. I, I really... could only imagine how fucking long it can take to model yeah. and everything else for those things. As I was going to say, I I understand if, they, if that's the case. But if they straight are... Tiff. If they're straight up just not ever going to do it, then yeah, that pretty much sucks. No, I feel like that is something they would do. So, I, I give them respect for that. They, they're taking their time while also releasing the game already. Did Do Pokemon follow you in Sword and Shield? Uh, I don't know. Was it in the trailer? I don't think so. They should bring I, that maybe back. Maybe you can make them follow you. I really hope they do, because I really want it. Yeah, it's cute. I want my score buddy to follow me. You can have Pokemon follow you only in towns. Okay, that's fair. Ah, oh, okay. Only in towns? So, like, not inside? No, or, like, I think, what do you mean? like, not in the open plains, only in towns can you have your Pokemon out. Oh, so, like, when okay. you're, yeah, when you're exploring and stuff. Okay, that makes sense, but... It Howdy, would be SP. Nice if they could follow you. Also, uh, I, I apologize for not welcoming you guys since we were talking about the Pokemon stuff. Uh, welcome, Joker, which I assume is Cap, and welcome, uh, SP, to the stream. Grab yourselves some warm beverages, or don't. It's up to you. I'm drinking some coffee right now. We're drawing a commission for Kira, and then probably Banjo afterwards. But. <clears throat> I got color sad color. for a second. I mean, Game Freak could do a Game Freak and just not. So don't get your hopes up too much. I won't. I won't. <laughs> Twix. Do you still have Twix? I do. I've had her since uh, Platinum, I think. Yeah. Wow. 
I've never transferred Pokemon, so this isn't like a problem for me personally, but I understand why it <laughs> sucks for others. I transferred all my baby since Platinum. Like, you can't do this to me! Whenever. For. I mean, for me, it's always been like. When I get a new Pokemon game, it's a new start adventure. Over. Yeah, I pretty right. much start over, so I never and carry any Pokemon with me. That's a good thing, too. And I guess I'll have to go back to those roots with this game. It's. That's. I don't really have a problem with that. New adventure. Maybe I'll find another team. Well, yeah, Twix is just a Pachirisu. Not a shiny one, sadly, but <clears throat> it works. I don't know if Pachirisu is in Gen 6, or else I would try to shiny hunt it for you. Gen 6? Yeah. X and Y. It is. It is. Hmm. Uh, I just don't remember where, but it is in Gen 6, because I caught one. It is not? Wait, what? What do you mean it's not? Yes, it is. I caught... I caught a Pachirisu in Gen 6. I think more than one, actually. I just don't remember where. I got it. I mean... My, um... Oh, you're talking about the friend zone? The friend safari? Yeah, I can imagine that's where it would probably be. I'll have to see if I can have if I have any in my 3DS, um, because then I'll try shiny hunting it. Uh, I mean, it's so weird. Like, I get it. If they have, if if Game Freak now has a policy for like, n you're not allowed to put all Pokemon in a Pokemon game anymore. What? It's like, it's like, I get it, but it also sucks at the same time. It does. What? What does that even mean? Well, I mean, there's fucking over 800 of them. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I'm just wondering what... But what does that mean for reason? competitive? That's Yeah, that's what I meant. Also, that's also one of the things yeah. I meant. But it's also like... How, could, how come they could do it before, but suddenly they can't now? Hmm. Is it space? I don't know. <laughs> hey, I hope y'all are doing well. You know what? I'm gonna end the stream because of that. No! <laughs> Don't end the stream after I gave you a criticism. I don't think the huge backlash really means a whole lot to Game Freak SP. Like, I mean, you have to consider that this is probably for the best for developers, because, mm. I mean, modeling over 800 Pokemon. Right, that's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a really long fucking time and a lot of resources. I mean, I wonder how it was for, how long it took for them to do for X and Y. Sun and Moon did not have the whole region, did it? But, but you could bring any Pokemon into Sun and Moon, so. Because, did they, did they use the X and Y models for that one? I don't remember, actually. I don't remember either. Um, it could have been, but they just, uh, like, enhanced it or something. Like, made them better.
Hmm, you know what? That's not a bad idea, uh, Cap. Is that is that confirmed? Is what you just said there about Sword and Shield, where it's Kanto, Johto, Unova, Kalos, and Alola? Is that actually confirmed? Hmm. You know what I think, actually? They won't have all the Pokemon in this in this game, but if they make a Sinnoh remake, then they might have every Pokemon. Yeah, that's what Cap was just saying. Oh, I didn't see. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think that actually could be very likely. Okay, yeah. I see. It's just speculation. My bad. Uh, but... Uh, I was gonna say... Because that's when... I guess that's when they finish all the models. Mm -hmm. They feel like that's an, that's the time to release the remake. <clears throat> but we could be wrong. That's just speculation, as you said. God, I want a platinum remake so badly. How long is this guy's hair, by the way? Huh? How long is this guy's hair, by the way? Uh... Uh, it's like past his so shoulders, gets to his chest. Okay. Like that. The stream, the stream uh, does keep buffering. Stream keeps going down. Yeah, it keeps buffering. Hmm. Hopefully, it fixes itself. I'm not seeing any yeah. problems on my end. I didn't drop any frames or anything. Platinum remake, please. I want Distortion World so badly in 3D. Same. What if they make it even more intense, too, in the remake? I would love that. More puzzles and stuff. Oh, that would be so cool. I want Nintendo to get weird again, man. Yeah, I like too. When, I like when they get weird. It's been a while. Which, actually, speaking of which, I went back and watched a lot of the pres E3 presentation. Dude, the Breath of the Wild sequel actually looks fucking scary. It does. That trailer is, like, genuinely really weird. It's very mysterious. It you can't is. really tell what it is, or, like, what it's supposed to uh, tell you, which makes for a mystery. Well, if it's not Platinum, then it's going to be Diamond and Pearl. Distortion World... But I don't know, because they added the Deo Deoxys and Rayquaza stuff into Auras, so I have to imagine... Mm. It would be the same case, then. Most likely. You know what? Arlo was saying the same shit, Cyvax, um, about how, like, it almost feels like Breath of the Wild 2 is gonna be, like, the Majora's Mask to... Uh, or it's gonna be, like, the Majora's Mask to, uh... It's being the sequel to Ocarina of Time. So if 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 Breath of the Wild actually does take that route for the second game, then we are going to get a really weird Zelda game, which actually makes me kind of excited. Mm -hmm. It's going to be good. I wonder when it's going to be released. Probably like... Oh my god. 20, 20, late 2020 or 2021 easily. Right. It's only in it's... development. Exactly. They, they didn't specify if it started now development but i assume they've started recently Oops. Mm -hmm. aonuma confirmed that it's going to be a wait what i'm curious about that let me see. Wait, what? He doesn't like Majora's Mask. Uh, uh, our. Ah. Uh. So I don't think it's gonna be that. Why doesn't he like Majora's Mask? That's like a huge fan favorite. So the Breath of the Wild sequel is not related to Majora's Mask. Hopefully, Koizumi can uh, fix things a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, but how come he doesn't like it? It's like a fan favorite for a reason.
most of the older figureheads of Nintendo don't like um, Majora's Mask for plenty of reasons. Oh? Like what? <clears throat> um, just gameplay decisions and story decisions and stuff like that. Mm. It's really weird. It's more of a cult classic. Yeah, I, I get what you mean. Never played it though, so I wouldn't know. I swear to God, the IGN website, I... <laughs> <sighs> I thought That's it was wrong. just my laptop for the longest time of why my freaking... I Like, whenever I go on IGN, it's just the worst experience ever. But even on my computer, on my $1,000 computer with, like, ridiculously fast processing, cannot handle the IGN website. It's one of the worst websites I've ever been on. What happened? Hold on, let me It go just through. lags to shit. It's the worst. I think it's because of all the ads they throw on there. Oh. I'm over here trying to oh, look up yeah. information. IGN Nordic. Okay, IGN Nordic. I didn't... I meant to go to American one, thank you very much. Okay, it just takes me to IGN, IGN Nordic. I can't do anything about that. Mm, I see. I just want to say, for anybody who loves Majora's Mask, you can thank the man that, like, heads Nintendo today. Uh, I can't remember his first name, but uh, Koizumi, uh, he is, like, most of the reason why that game is as beautiful as it is. He's a good person. Shigeru Miyamoto did not want that story in Zelda. And he forced it in anyway. Which is Sweet. fucking awesome, yeah. What did Shiggy want? Huh? Uh, I don't know, man. Fucking Shiggy needs to stop. Although I can't hate him too much, because he did... I found out he was, like, one of the main creative directors of Mario Odyssey, and I fucking love that game, so... He's yeah, not I mean, all bad, but he's still he's, pretty bad. <laughs> he's, like... <sighs> He's, like, too attached, I guess, to his own franchises. Yeah, Cyvax, the, uh, the 3DS remake of Majora's Mask really shows how much, uh, fucking IG doesn't know, didn't know what to do with that game. It was just bad. Alanuma, but <laughs> I don't understand why they can't just come together and be like, all right, great gameplay and great story. It always has to be like one or the other for Zelda. I swear to God, mm -hmm. every yeah. time. Breath of the Wild, though. Oof. I mean, but that game didn't have a very good story, in my opinion. It was almost like non-existent. That's fair. That's fair. No, I, I get what you mean. It's, um... Honestly, I forgot there was a story. <laughs> <laughs> but the gameplay is amazing on it, so that makes up for it. But can the second one please have a good story and the same gameplay? Thank you. Yeah, Cap, I agree. I'm... I'm really thinking that Sunshine's gonna get a remake, and if it doesn't, we're going to get Sunshine DLC for Mario Odyssey or something. For sure. I feel really strongly about that. Yes. Two. Two. Okay. Whoa. E3 has really been Dragon Quest heavy. I didn't even think about it, but it's true. Yeah. There was a lot of Dragon Quest to C3. I'm not complaining. Yeah, I was about to say, good for you. <laughs> we didn't. We don't get much of it in West, so happy. Yeah, it's definitely more of a Japanese thing. The inventor of JRPGs. Was it? 
Yeah, it's what started JRPGs was Dragon Quest. That's where all the the, the all the JRPGs got their ideas from today. Huh. If it weren't for D. Oh D yeah, because I think Square actually picked up Dragon Quest later. Yeah, they, they did. didn't make it first. Yeah, they acquired <clears throat> the IP. But yeah, it was definitely the first JRPG. As I've heard, most most influential JRPG. Guys, you have. Guys, you have no idea like how many JRPGs have never made it out of the West. But the truth so of <laughs> the truth of the matter is, is that most of them that do, like I have like this game over here called um, Alliance Alive that I actually really enjoy, and all these other JRPGs because I just fucking love JRPGs, guys. But all these other JRPGs mm -hmm. just sitting on my shelf. Nobody ever buys these games. Like they get like. Why, almost, though? almost always in the West, they always have bad sales. It is Why just... is that though? Because like they're I don't good. Know. They don't get exposure like whatsoever. It sucks. Then. It seems like Square Enix, especially with this latest E3 conference, they're trying to put more. They're trying to put more of a spotlight on JRPGs that people mm -hmm. haven't heard about. But even to this day, there are still JRPGs that are getting like zero notoriety. Which sucks, really. There was a, a good uh, genre. It is a good genre. There was a JRPG that came out not too long ago, like in 2017, called Ever Oasis, that I heard was really good, and nobody ever heard about it. So it still happens. <sighs> Sad. Cause kids want to yeah. play Call of Duty Shooter, man. They just want to shoot a man. Have you played a DQ game, Lelte? I have DQ8, but I've only played through a bit of it. Should play more. Which that's probably the that's probably the hero I will play as when he comes out in Smash. Hmm. Cause I like his design a lot. He's he's cool. I have the uh, big box edition or whatever. Oh yeah. I saw the uh, seventh hero in the trailer, but I don't know if he's gonna be an alt. Ever Oasis was announced was like, had commercials on TV. I did never never even knew that. I don't watch TV though, so I guess I would have never noticed it. Um, what did you say, Kira? About the seventh hero, the seventh Dragon Quest hero was in the trailer, but I don't know if it's gonna be an out. I think from what it looks like, they're gonna all the heroes will come in on the final smash, and that's it. Mm -hmm. That's what it Probably. looks like to me. That'd be cool. Please, can we have slime? Uh, I want some slime ref. Can they can they put slime as like a final smash? That would be cute. <laughs> yeah, there's only four heroes. Oh yeah, I agree, SP. He's He's really good at like designing the characters. And his, <clears throat> his art too. Very recognizable. I feel like you would love Chrono Trigger, Kira. Oh? How so? Because it's the same artist. Um, yeah. And it's also Square Enix. Wait, let me... What is the gameplay in Dragon Quest like? JRPG. <laughs> Typical JRPG. Like, turn-based battle? Yeah, turn-based. Mm. I think... I think you would like Chrono Trigger, though. I don't know. Mm, I've heard of it. I haven't seen any gameplay. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting turn-based RPG with a, a bit of a twist. All the enemies are moving real-time while you're doing decisions mm. and stuff. And depending on where the enemies are placed, you can actually set up like stronger attacks and whatnot. Interesting. How do you spell the game's name? Uh. Oh. Oh wait, SP, I found it. SP put it. Yeah. Oh. I want to try this. I like this. 
<laughs> the art style is the same. Because the, the guy who drew Dragon Ball. I guess Akira Toriyama likes working with Square Enix. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Older DQs. Yeah, the Mother series took inspiration from the older DQs. That's what I've heard, at least. I would not be surprised. <laughs> you know what Mother series also took inspiration from? Uh, the Peanuts. You cut off what you say? The Mother series also took inspiration from the Peanuts. The uh, Charlie What's Brown, that? Charlie Brown series. Oh. oh in fact, yeah. <laughs> in fact, um, it took so much inspiration from Charlie Brown that it had to have a ton of localization edits done to it to avoid copyright. Mm. Because characters would have same names and same designs as Peanuts characters. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, Eldrick is the first hero of DQ. And he's really cool! Yeah, it's cool to see him show up in Smash. But my favorite is the fourth hero. From the ones announced, he's the fourth hero. He is cute. He's cute as shit. He's got green hair. Yeah. I love green hair. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless. People think we're gonna get Goku just because Dragon Quest Heroes were announced? That's not happening. Mm, no. We're not see. ever getting Goku. People need to stop. Give up already. <laughs> oh my god, final Splatfest, dude. Team order. Team, I'm not saying. What the f Fuck, dude. Kira knows what team I'm on, but I do. All right, there's the base for Percival. I think I need Let to. Me see. Oh yeah. Ah, he's so cool and cute and awesome. I love how you drew him. Ah, I love how you drew this boy. Thank you. This your style is <laughs> gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure I'm not missing anything. This is a pretty simple design, for all things considered. Alright. Yeah. I like him though a lot. Thank Lo you. Love him actually. You. Wish I could have paired him up, but you know. <laughs> Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can design a crush for him if you want. Like someone. Nah, who has a it'll crush never him. be the same. Nah, fam, I don't settle for second place. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Polyamory. Just kidding. You know I would actually do that shit in RP form. Anyways. Mhm. Mm Go on. Nah, I'm anyways. Hey guys, how's it going? My friend Pedro, I've actually heard that game's great. Oh yeah, they showed it off. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> wow, you're only at level 14 SP? It's alright. I think I'm like level 49 or 48 in Splatoon. Level 80. No, 91 actually. Um. Yeah, Kira goes hard. I haven't played in a while, but I want to go back. Uh, I was gonna say. I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh well. I the the only thing that got my attention, that got my interest in the Bethesda uh, presentation was Ghostwire. Ghostwire looks fucking awesome. It looks awesome. And of course it is awesome, because it was made by the 
the, by the the chick who made the art for Okami and Bayonetta and all that. Yes, and she is a adorable sweetheart from the looks Dude, of it. She's so precious. Ultimate protect. I will protect her with all my life. She's so she, she's so upbeat and cute. And she tweeted about her fans, which is adorable. Oh, excuse me. Um I'm trying to think. Everything I saw this E3. I mean, man, the, I think the highlights for me were like Final Fantasy VII Remake. I just did Oh, not, dude, you cried. I did not care originally when that game got first announced. I was like, really? Are we doing this now? And then but it's then more... Uh, yeah, it's more gameplay stuff and whatnot trickled out. And it looked like they were making like a really passionate, um, authentic remake like keeping all the shit in from the original final fantasy i was like oh my god <laughs> it was so sweet seeing your reaction to it you were so happy i could not believe my fucking eyes <laughs> with 10 million butterflies <laughs> uh yeah gameplay for that Gameplay for Final Fantasy VII looked amazing. I, I'm going. This is gonna y'all are gonna think I'm crazy. I'm going back and forth on the whole Animal Crossing thing. What do you mean? I I'm not sure how to feel about it yet. Hmm. I've always, I've always had a very strange um, opinion or reaction to crafting games right so seeing what animal crossing new horizons or whatever is all about i it... don't know <laughs> <laughs> i'm excited for it yeah but... i'm sure many people are yeah a lot of people are but i <laughs> the crafting thing did take me by surprise when i first saw it like are you gonna be like is that all it is that you're gonna do for like furniture? Is craft it? I really hope shops still exist and whatnot. Yeah. And how are you gonna get bells? <laughs> you're in a deserted island. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it'll be good when it comes out and I finally have my yeah. hands on it. We don't really know much about it, so it's best not to like think too deeply right now about See, it. See, I never played Pocket Camp. It never really interested me. Same here. So I'm just not sure. Yeah, but... I just... I don't know. I don't like crafting <laughs> stuff in games. It's... Mm, this is gonna be a hard Animal Crossing for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I couldn't get into Dragon Quest Builders because there is a lot of crafting in that. Mm -hmm. Not my thing. Get materials and you can sell them at, to Tom Nook. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. But so you sell them to again. Tom Nook, but you give the money to Tom Nook. What? Lol. Oh, crossing doesn't make sense. It doesn't, but it's cute. It's charming. It's I'm nice. more excited about villager interactions and shit like that. That's like yeah. kind of my whole love for Animal Crossing. Oh, it's cute. The, the, the villagers look so adorable. I like the graphics of, of the new one. Yeah, I do like the graphical style. It is very pretty. Mm-hmm. I'm really excited for Link's Awakening. I think that's a huge <laughs> one for me. Yes, it looks so cute! It looks done. fantastic. It looks cute, and it's gonna have a dark story. I'm hoping... I'm I'm just really hoping that like even with the cute art style that they're doing for this game that they keep authentic to some of the like really dark mm. moments in Oh, I'm sure they will. Link's Awakening. That's all I want. 
No, I'm sure they will do that, because that's what Nintendo does, is cutesy stuff with edgy shit. Some of the... Yeah, it's coming out in September. I gotta sneeze. Oh, bless <laughs> you. Um... There, there's some really strange, surreal shit that happens towards the end of Link's Awakening, and I really hope that they nail it in. The whole ending sequence for freaking Link's Awakening is insane. So... Link's Awakening is a masterpiece. I think I put it at the top in my tier list. I gotta do one of these tier lists live. If you guys have like an interesting thing <laughs> you'd want to see a tier list on, send it my way and I'll do it like right away. Because fast, fa fast food. Fast food? But I've already done fast one on food. that. All right. Well, and plus, many people in here aren't from America, so it's not it's going true. to translate. Pokemon legendaries. Oh god, I've already done that. I'll do it again though. Please do. I haven't seen your legendary one. When did you do that? I don't remember. Uh, it was with uh, Darren and Liam a while ago. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, it was in a different server. Um, oh man, no, I'm not doing an anime tier list. I don't know enough about anime. I'll do, I'll do the legendaries. Y'all can uh, judge me. Um, do it now. I'll do it as soon as I finish up this line art, and then okay. we'll get right into it. Yes. I want to see your opinion on legendaries. Mm, I watched man. my friend do it <laughs> a few days ago. <laughs> there was a lot of yelling. Oh man, y'all are gonna. And I... One one of the one of the tears was just in RPG. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Moltres was there and Reshiram. Oh my God, just in RPG. <laughs> If y'all have never heard of Justin RPG before, I'm not gonna say anything about him. Just do a quick Google search and you'll find him. And, uh, yeah. I'd rather you not discuss him in this chat. Yeah, don't, please, don't, please don't, don't. Don't talk, don't talk about Justin RPG here. But <laughs> definitely look it up because it's, it's an adventure to be, <laughs> it's a fucking adventure to look through that guy's stuff. <laughs> Poor Reshiram. Fucking, I feel so bad for Reshiram. done with the line art just gotta take care of the sleeve and then the tails <laughs> I'm sorry cap I should also mention for anybody who's going to Google it it's uh it's 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 kind of fucked so you know at your own discretion you didn't hear it from me what how dare you <laughs> Is a special case. His one about wanting to fuck this like monster from Oblivion is one of my favorite posts that he's ever made. Has anyone, um, been following the Chris Chan documentary here? Because I just watched part 14 yesterday, and I'm re-watching through the main series again. Um, like, while I'm playing through SAR, I just leave it on in the background on my other screen. And 
I forgot how much I loved that documentary oh, series. Shit, you're lagging for me. Uh. There you go. Now you're better. <laughs> Yeah, I should probably start following that because I'm interested in the documentary. It's fucking great. Oh, I'm sure. It's yeah. really easy to just have up in the background while you're doing stuff. Yeah, it's what I'm intending to do. That's the shit I already have in the background is documentaries and yeah. stuff like that. So, thanks for the uh, recommendation. Yeah, I hope YouTube doesn't take it down again like they did last time because, man, what? that would suck. Why did they take it down? Yeah, all the episodes now are all re-uploaded. They Why took did it they down. Take it down? Uh, they considered it as like bullying or some shit. Uh, Even though it's not. Yeah, it's not. It's like completely neutral information on Chris Chan. Um, mm. Okay, there's the line art. Good shit. And we will continue with this in a second. I'll let you all see it real quick while I pull up um, the legendary tier so list. Good. Oh, I'm so excited to see you finish. You did a great job, Latte. Thank you. My boy, my Percival boy. Is it still coming out on Saturdays or Sundays, SP, like it usually did? Because I'm really excited. Okay, let me find. Let's see. This Mario Galaxy playlist is about to be over, so I'll pull up something new in a second. <laughs> Pokemon Legendary Tier List. What we got? This has everything? Let me see. Welcome. Welcome to Galaxy. New Galaxy. New Galaxy. Let's listen to Yoshi music. Alright. Um, I'm trying, I'm looking at this tier list real quick to make sure that it has all the Pokemon that I'd want to rank. I like this tier list a lot because it uses sprites. Um... Wait, does it have... Where's like Mew and stuff? Does it not have mythicals? Where are the mythicals? This list is just like missing mythicals! I hate this! Why? Mm hmm? What's wrong? This this tier list is great. It it like put all the Pokemon as sprites, but it doesn't have mythicals, so I can't use it. I hate that. What? Mythical? Like like Mew and Jirachi and stuff. No, what the heck? Hold on, I'll try to find the one that my friend used because that one had me. That's really weird tier list. Um. Um. Hold on, wait. I might have found one. Uh, this yeah, this one, is the one he used. This one might work. Here. Yeah, send me the one that you have. Okay. <laughs> it, yeah, it has me and everything. Uh, da, 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 da. Here you go. Whoa. Look at all. Holy shit. This has all the... Oh my god. This has all the Ultra Beasts too. Rad. Alright. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Give me one second, guys, to set this up. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to set up a thing real quick. How do I... Gotta use OBS again. Gotta remember how this shit works. Uh... 
There we go. Okay, so we're gonna do a window capture. This OBS is so weird to use. Okay, let me try this real quick. Whoops. I'm gonna pull this over here. This will be easier for me to do it. Now that I have two screens, this shit is way easier. Yeah, I've seen Yamper. It's super adorable. I thought uh, Kira would absolutely love Impidimp, though. <laughs> Impidimp looks actually cute. I knew it. And the Corgi, too. The Corgi is adorable. <laughs> Impidimp is such a weird name for it, though. That sound. Okay. Um, gonna try to get this to be less awkward. Alte, have you seen the corgi? Yeah, of course I have. <laughs> so cute! I wanna draw it. Okay, so now we're looking at the tier list. Um, it's gonna be a bit delayed. Yeah. So let's. Put my tablet away for a moment. We're gonna name these tier lists um, Perfect Legendary. This will be. Can't see it in the stream. Can't? Nope. What the it's hell? It's still showing sky. Uh, there we go. Okay, now it should be in. Alright, let's wait. We're gonna name this one. All right, you're pretty rad. Now I can see it. And then we're gonna make this one average, but still cool. I forgot that Latios and Latios had mega evolutions. Oh yeah. We're gonna make a Robolo. I even forgot that Ultra Sun and Moon were a thing. We'll make this one fine. I'll catch you. This one's gonna be please go away. <laughs> and then this last one. Uh, what will we name this one? Let's, let's name it. Uh, hmm. We'll just name it trash. All right. So this is my tier list here. We're going to go through each and every one of these one by one, starting from the beginning to the end. Starting with Ho-Oh -Oh and ending with Lugia. That's interesting. Oh. Ho-Ho. Uh -huh. um, All right. So, starting with Ho-Oh, -Oh, uh, I got to put my boy in a I, you're pretty rad. I love me some Ho-Oh. -Oh. He's a good guy. Uh, Celebi can go in fine. I'll catch you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Uh, since it's delayed, can you screen share for me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Me Give me one second. I'm going to screen share for Kira so she can see what's going on as I'm talking so about it. So I can it. judge you? Yeah, so she can judge me. There we go. 
Alright, you should be good now. Wait, oh right. This, this server already has it. Okay. So, <laughs> Celebi goes and fine, I'll catch you. I actually don't really like Celebi all that much. It's just like, okay. I hate it. It's, it's just okay. Uh, Regirock goes in... Uh, average, but still cool. I like Re I like Regirock a little bit. Regi Ice goes in the is same. Better. Regi, Regi Ice goes in the same category yeah, for me. Yeah, but it's better. Um, <laughs> Registeel goes into pretty rad. That's my okay. boy. It's my favorite. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna throw these yeah. in trash. No, yeah, they're just, <laughs> just don't just forget them, Pop. I hate I. I hate the mega evolutions for Latios and Latios. They're just, they're so stupid looking. They are. It's, <laughs> I don't like them at all. But um, the regular ones? The regular ones, they go, um, you know what? I, I, I'd put them in rad. I like them a lot, actually. I think they're really cute. Good choice. It goes they're back adorable. and forth for me. Actually. Latios is more adorable than Latios. Actually, I have to, I'm a, I'm a, I put, Latios a tier lower. Yeah. Latios is cuter. La Latios is way cuter. Yeah. Um I mean Latios is still cool, but like yeah. I wanna, I wanna hug a lot. Um Uh is this Alpha? Alpha Kyogre? Yeah. Alpha Kyogre grows in like fucking radish shit. Oh yeah. Actually, Actually, nah, it's like perfect. And I put Kyogre in perfect as well. I think that they, it's like a super. It's big fish. Dude, they're like super awesome. They um, are. Alpha Groudon goes in perfect. Regular Groudon goes in rad. Mm. Fair, fair. Good choice. I think, I think Alpha Groudon is awesome. Um, Mega Rayquaza. Uh, Mega Rayquaza goes in perfect. Oh, yeah. Regular Rayquaza goes in pretty rad. I love um, Rayquaza a lot. I'm Rayquaza is a... Turn this down a little Ooh. bit. Rayquaza is a really cool Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I love Rayquaza. Big Snake Boy. Um, Articuno, perfect. Oh, uh, yeah, Jirachi, choice. perfect. I... Yes! Probably... Probably my favorite legendary ever is Jirachi. Thank you. There's not many people that appreciate how cute and amazing Jirachi yes, is. Yes, I love Jirachi very, very much. Um, you should, you should draw Jirachi at some point. I should, I should draw Jirachi again. Um, I'm not. I, I don't know. Deoxys perfect. The other forms I'm not really gonna bother with. Uh, put him, put him, put him somewhere. Uh, Make a new tier or something. Yeah, I'll just put one down here. <laughs> just an OPG. <laughs> I'm just gonna name it OK. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, okay, so we have the lake trio here, and I know Kira's gonna be upset at me at this. So, uh, Yuxi... Yuxi goes in pretty rad. Yuxi more like yuck. <laughs> what? what are you talking about? Uh, Mesprit. Mesprit is better. Mesprit goes in please go away. You fucking <laughs> asshole! How dare you! No! Mesprit is perfect! No! Please go away and I'll no. put a self in fine, I'll catch you. <laughs> SF looks like a fucking... <laughs> Looks like a Dorito! Uh, what is It's a blue Dorito! <laughs> Best friend is where it's at! Yuck, 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 like yuck! No, Yuck's is amazing. Best friend is better. Angry face! She's got an angry face! <laughs> <laughs> She's good! Diaga. Uh, Diaga goes in average. And good. Halkia okay. goes in rad. Yeah. Wait. Okay, yeah, I'll be right back. Oh, okay. Um, heat ran. Heat ran. Heat ran and goes in fine. I'll catch you. It's kind of cute. It's got a toy airplane on its head. 
and now you will never unsee it. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Yeah, thank you. Fuck you. Uh, Reggie oh, Gigas Reggie goes Gigas. in pretty rad. Is cool. Reggie Gigas is very cool. Um, Giratina is perfect. Yes, thank you. Nah, the actually, other I'll put form it on is... the same tier. Although I do like the basilisk form more than yeah. the uh, or or origin form. Same here. For sure. They're, it's still really cool. Garatina is a perfect Pokemon. Easily. For sure. Uh, Zapdos goes in pretty rad. Cresselia? <laughs> Why'd you put flesh there? Come on! Cute flesh! I know that... Freaking, I know that freaking Taylor would hate me for that one, too. It's a cute Pokemon! She's a moon! How could you ask for anything else? <laughs> uh, Fiona goes in rad. Manaphy goes in... Average. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> change places! Those two should change places right the fuck now! What is that all about? Darkrai's perfect. Darkrai's perfect. Okay, good. good. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's about how I feel about Sky I hate I do not like Skyform Shaman. It's just you get okay. A At least you get didn't put it in please go away. <laughs> okay. The freaking <laughs> regular for landform shaman is adorable, but Skyform no, Shaman is. is dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just as cute! What are you talking about? It's a deer! <laughs> I'm sorry. Arceus goes in perfect. I love, oh, yeah, I love Arceus very much. Oh, fuck Victini. Hmm? <sighs> it's like went up for me over the years, but I would absolutely put it in trash if it were years ago. <laughs> Victini's a cutie. It's got a peace sign hand. What more can you ask for? I don't. I don't like Victini and his stupid butt wings. <laughs> butt wings, it's so cute. Cobalion's perfect. Uh. <laughs> no, just put that Bad. in trash. <laughs> don't put it in the same place as two perfect Pokemon. Huh? Yeah, you know I would put it in trash. I I don't like it at all. Uh, Verizian is perfect. Yeah, pretty cute. No, actually, you know what? I'll move it up here. I love me Verizian. They're freaking adorable. Um, Moltres? I go away. Justin uh, RPG. Justin oh, RPG. Oh, what? You don't like the Moltres? No. <laughs> Goddamn. Um, bye. <laughs> bye. Yeah, just, just bye. bye. All of them. Uh, this one is fine, I'll catch you. Um, this one is average. This one How is dare rad. You? What? Fresh Ram's just like all right. Zekrom's way Fresh cooler. Ram is... Okay, that's fair. that's a fair opinion. All right. Let's just keep going. I hope you're not like my friend about Kelio. But I let's... like I like the cat version of Tornadus. I'll be honest. Yeah, about it's it. it's actually pretty cute. Or, no, that's Landorus. My bad. Yeah. Um. That trash. one. Bye. Uh, fucking awful. Yeah. Terrible. Just hate those. Bye. I'll put this. In. Please go away. No, you know, no, no. What's no, the difference no. between trash and please go away? Please go away is like, I don't like you. But trash is like, I really despise you. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well. Um. Oh, Keldeo? Oh my god. Oh hmm. no. Oh, I'm hmm. sorry. <laughs> no! <laughs> what? <laughs> Why does everyone I. What is. What... <laughs> Keldeo is so cute. Dude, I serious? hate Keldeo. No. Actually, you know, what? I'll move this one up as of its here. That's you're doing the exact same thing my friend did. He moved <laughs> up the other one instead of the first one. <laughs> Liam hates me for my opinion on Keldeo too, and so does Taylor. <laughs> I hate Keldeo. You gotta suck your opinion on Keldeo. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Keldeo. <laughs> No. Uh, this Meloetta is awful. This Meloetta no. is... Eh. No! No, no. Meloetta is <laughs> a cutie! Are you kidding me? Oh my it's god. It's horrible! 
I we're to, ruining I had to friendships offer, here. I, <laughs> I had to trade my Milouetta for the. Wow. That's how much I, I miss it so much. Uh, Genesect is rad as fuck. He's going up there. Yeah. Uh, Good opinion. Xerneas uh, is rad as fuck. Oh, yeah. Mewtwo is perfect. Mewtwo? Fuck yeah. Um, Bacon Evelto strip is perfect. Bacon strip is perfect. This stupid ass zygote is going here. <laughs> This stupid ass zygote is going here. This stupid ass dog is going here. This stupid ass perfect is going here. And Zygarde is at the top! <laughs> exactly! Normal Zygarde is only. 60% Zygarde should have been the only Zygarde. That is how I feel about yeah. that. Exactly, I agree. What's with the other shit? I don't get what the. Alright, keep going. I hate these things so much. I don't even. I'm. <laughs> oh, I hate. <laughs> So did my friend, he kept complaining about it. I hate, the they they did my boy Zygarde so wrong. Dude, for the longest time on my 3DS, um, even when After Sun and Moon came out, my uh, tagline on my my 3DS friends list thingy was uh, Zygarde is best Pokemon. <laughs> and I was oh so sad God. when this shit got announced. I hated it. Aww. Um. Mega Diancy? Eh. Regular Diancy? Eh. What? <laughs> Diancy's cute as shit! Unbound what? Hoopa? Eh. Regular Hoopa? Eh. They're, they're alright. I don't, hmm. I don't really. Volcanion? Bye. Looks like a bag. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't like Volcanion. For the first fire water type, they just, like, I have no idea what they were thinking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tapu Coco is perfect. Just gonna throw him up there. Tapu Lele is pretty rad. Yeah, um, cute. I haven't really seen much of these. Tapu Bulu is bad. And... A tap I can't remember her name for some reason. Ah. For some reason, uh, but I like her too. Although I don't like her as much as Tapu Lele, so I'll probably put her down here. Yeah. Um. Nebby. Is that my boy Nebby? Cute as shit. Fine, I'll catch you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mew. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Just average. <laughs> I don't, I don't really like Mew all that much. It's like okay. Classic. I'm not even including this thing. What? This what thing. This is Cosmoem. It's the evolution of Nebby. All right. Oh. Um. Solgaleo, baby. Solgaleo. Okay, so I'm putting Solgaleo himself in perfect. And I'm putting his Necrozma form also in perfect. I'm putting Lunala's Necrozma form in perfect. And regular Nula, Nula, Lunala goes in. Alright, you're pretty rad. Uh, actually. Nah. Nah, I really love all of He's these. Perfect. They are all yeah. amazing. These were great box legendaries, by the way. I'm just saying. Yeah. For Top tier. Ooh, we got Ultra Beasts. Um, I'm actually going to skip those for now. We'll do... Raikou. Raikou goes average. Uh, Necrozma is fucking perfect. Fight me. Ultra Necrozma is... It's just like, whatever. It's just a piece of paper. It is a piece of paper! <laughs> Magierna is, is fucking stupid. I hate it. I hate Magierna. I wish it never existed. What a stupid Pokemon. <laughs> I've never played Sun and Moon, so I don't know what about it. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. I hate it. <laughs> Marshadow. Marshadow. It's like, it's like whatever. No, it's yeah, cute. Yeah. All right, I'll put it in average. It's, it's whatever. Shit. Um, Zara Aura. Yeah, it's pretty rad. I don't know. <laughs> I could I, I could go yeah. back and forth on it being rad and average. I don't like Zara Aura like everyone else does. <laughs> Um, this thing for Pokemon Go or whatever, it's whatever. Um, I don't get it. I don't get it either. Entei is perfect. 
My friend put that in a tier called I would step on it. <laughs> Sweet coon is perfect. Oh yeah. Is rad. Oh yeah. It is furry bait, but I'm pretty indifferent to Zeraora. I think there's better furry bait. Oh, is this the legendary to that thing? Yeah, that's pretty trash. Looks stupid. Um I don't get the Ultra Beasts then. Okay, so now Ultra Beasts. We're on these Ultra Beasts. We're on these Ultra Beasts. Okay, so Balloon Boy first. He goes he, he goes in uh, average. I think the the Balloon Boy is, is alright. Uh Stack Attacka. It's average. Even though it's literally just a building. <laughs> it is. Um, Labendel and whatever this one's name is, I can't even remember. Oh, Poiple and Labendel, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Guzzlord? It's alright. Katarna? Eh. Eh, 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 yeah. Celestila is fucking stupid looking. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what they were thinking. That was weird. I don't know what they were thinking with most of these uh, ton of moon stuff. Zerkatry? Zerkatry's pretty rad. Uh, Faramosa, I think that's what that name, one's name is. Hell yeah. Uh, because I love me some bug Pokemon. Nihiligo? fucking perfect don't even gotta don't even gotta ask me about it love me some nile ego there it's a perfect pokemon and buzzwell is it's, 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 it's just just go away i can't believe those shitty pokemon are with fucking mesprit or Cresselia, right. Keldeo, there you go, and kids. and Dion De De there you go kids that is my tier list for all Pokemon legendaries. I'm gonna fight you. Well, I'll fight you. Why are you gonna fight me? <laughs> you know well what I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> okay, I had this in mind actually. Pokemon starters tier list. I did that a while ago too. I'll do that one before I get back to drawing. Okay. Gonna just throw this in the server real quick. Evolution tier list? I don't really that have too. a tier list on evolutions. I kinda can I kinda feel the same about all of them. Mm, fair enough. Except Jolteon is superior to you. Um, let me see. Yeah, this go. is the one I used, I think. Wait, this doesn't have... No, this doesn't have Grookey and stuff on it. Why did it have two versions of some? I don't know. There you go. Oh, yeah, okay, this is the one I used. <clears throat> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Perfect. Wait, why is it E? Never mind. EV. Let's go, Pokemon. Um. Love. Okay. Huh? Whatever. What? Go away. And I'm gonna keep fuck you. <laughs> oh, right. The numbers. Perfect. Love. Okay, whatever. Go away. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... We're gonna try to knock these out pretty quickly. I'm gonna look for the All ones. Right. Okay, so Bulbasaur goes here. Uh, Pikachu goes... Here. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Eevee goes... Here. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Good opinion. Good opinion. All right. Let's see. Let's see when you get more controversial. 
I don't. No, I'll put it in whatever. Wait, what is that? Whatever. These are mega evolutions. Oh, I see. I thought it was Ivysaur and I was gonna be pissed. <laughs> oh, fucking rat of shit. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. <sighs> Go away. <laughs> Whatever. Stan would hate you for that. Uh, go away. Actually, I'm gonna put what? this one in fuck you. <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> okay, now we're, get now we're getting feisty. Oh, thank you for putting Ivysaur there. Yeah, Ivysaur's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seems fair, seems fair. What? Are you nuts? <laughs> like, out of your mind? I'm not out of my mind. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? I don't like Charmander. <laughs> <sighs> oh, man. <laughs> That's not allowed. That's like a bad opinion right there. What the fuck, dude? What? <laughs> at least, at least the last one is higher. So okay. I, I give you respect. That's not the last the one. Here? That's the middle one. Yeah. Oh, it's the middle one. Yeah. Well, that one's cute. Yes, cute. All right. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, I, I get you on that. You're a fucking imbecile. What? No! Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Agree. I actually... My opinion on Kabuskin has changed. It looks like a dick. Recently. Alright, alright. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Love my boy Marshall. Thank you. Good boy. Or er, Swampert. Yeah, good boy. Very good boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. I actually love Torterra. Torterra's amazing. Why? Okay, good. Yeah. Actually, it's cool. Yeah. Um, fuck you. <laughs> what? Um, Empoleon... ...is here. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. What? Why? No! <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, alright. Good, good, good. Yeah, good. <laughs> Just no, I don't like it. Quilladin's bad. Quilladin Quil yeah. is very bad. It is, I don't like it. Seems like we have the. Ooh, yeah, good. Seems like we have the same opinion on this. Except for that one, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very interesting. Only okay? You're nuts. Uh, what? Go away. What? He looks so red, though. And Daywat is just okay, man. I don't really love. I like. I love Daywat, but not that much. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Good. Perfect. perfect. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. What? No, she's cute. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Look how cute that is. All right, that's fair. No, Big this thing cannon. is stupid. <laughs> it is stupid. I don't like it. Why? Nah, actually, you know what? Yeah. Okay. Still, still. <laughs> I don't really Why? like Cyndaquil that much. Cyndaquil is adorable. I love Totodile. Better than Tortoise, are you kidding me? Only okay? Yeah. <sighs> Alright, his evolution is in top, though, so. Yeah, that's good. Choice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> what? Aww. Fuck you. No, white people. What the hell? Perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. I love that pig. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Oh. No, I'll go. Okay. It's okay. Right. What? Why is it just an okay? I don't know. I don't really care for Finnegan all that much. Oh, but it's cute. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> all all right. of them is imperfect. What? What? 
What? <laughs> they better change over time. That's unacceptable. Actually, I'll play. I'll let me do this. There we go. <laughs> there, there's my, there's my opinion on the Pokemon starters. Why is Grookey go away? <laughs> I don't like Grookey. <laughs> He's cute as shit. I don't like any of them. Except for Score Bunny. Score Bunny is just okay. But you. <sighs> I don't really care for any of them. I'm kind of hoping uh, that Sobble gets really awesome evolutions, because I have a feeling yeah. I'm going to go for him. I hope. Yeah, I'm extra excited for the evolutions that we get. And I'm sure you get attachment to them the more you play, so... I guess I don't blame you for these opinions now. The best Pokemon are Gen 6 and Gen... Or, uh, not Gen 6. Um, Gen 5 and Gen 7. Those are my favorites. Mm. So I there it is. This. There you go, guys. We did it. We wasted time. Sobble's gonna be a spy. We had a commercial break in the stream. Remove this display capture now. Alright, we're back to Sai. <laughs> Rip Ash Greninja. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I hated That's it when it was right? announced, and I continued to hate it for the rest of its lifespan. <laughs> I'm judging you. <laughs> I agree, Tay. <clears throat> I judged him about the legendaries. I'm gonna post my legendary tier list and shit. Mm. Wow. The uh <laughs> our difference in opinions on the legendaries was hilarious. Helio, Mesprit. Okay, I'm gonna stop this screen share now. Okay. Actually, I'll share screen. I'll share screen my sigh so you can watch it if you want to. Yeah. So you're not delayed on stream. Isn't it fucking crazy, guys, that I can have music up? on one screen along with these um, internet tabs while also streaming while also using Psy while also screen sharing all at the exact same time <clears throat> doing a lot of shit all at once <clears throat> I love this song. <laughs> Alright, so uh, thank you for coming to my stream. We uh, <laughs> did a tier list for a while. Uh, what's going on, Indigo? Hello, Hunter. Uh, welcome to the stream. Grab yourself a warm <laughs> beverage of your choice or don't. It's up to you, man. Well, hope you're enjoying the sounds of... Yoshi relaxing music while I do this commission. Can't wait to see the stick art, man. Yeet yeah, butter. Yeah, I wanna see. <clears throat> we were just doing a uh, Pokemon tier list, and now I'm back to actually doing things that it should be. I was yelling at him. She was yelling at me. I'm Uggy? Why? But why? When are you going, by the way? When are you leaving to hang out with your friends? <laughs> like four? Okay. I'm gonna... I know we wasted a ton of time doing that tier list, but I'm gonna try to still draw Banjo in this stream. Hey! I'm excited. Oh, okay. I understand, buddy. Well, while you're gone, I'm going to be playing Animal Royale. You should convince your friends to play Animal Royale. Hey, Milky! 
Hey, Milky, welcome to the stream. Grab yourself a warm beverage while you're in school. <laughs> or don't. I mean, it's up to you. Uh, enjoy the sounds of Yoshi relaxing music while I do the work on this commission. It's nice to see you, sweetheart. Uh, Aw, that's cute. Also, I forgot to say hi to Taylor, but I think she's gone now. Hey, what's up, Reg? Welcome to the stream. Hello, Reg. <laughs> Grab yourself a warm beverage of your choice. Your choice. Ah, your choice. Get yourself a warm beverage. <laughs> Love you too, hon. Um, <clears throat> and thank you. Grab yourself a warm beverage, Reg, or don't. It's up to you. And enjoy the sounds of Yoshi while we work on this commission. <laughs> Grabbing that boy Percival's colors, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. <clears throat> I love Percival, dude. <laughs> I'm glad. Okay, so I haven't talked about this yet. Mm -hmm. I I normally don't reveal things for the stuff I'm working on early because i like to make sure that i'm sure about what i'm doing before it's out but i think that this is pretty harmless information since it's since it's not hugely plot heavy and i'm pretty fucking sure about what I, about doing it but soon because i was just thinking about how i'm doing percival right now um there will be leaders in essentia and i have Ooh. And I use the term leaders <clears throat> with an S. Um, I will be having people make the leaders of Essentia. This will be a, this will be a collaborative effort. Can I design one? And our girl Kira here may be one of them. I want to design a leader. Yep. I will... Is it like you pick one? You like you pick some or what? No, I'm going to assign uh, a area of Essentia to one of you guys whenever I'm ready uh -huh. to figure all that out, and you guys are gonna just make the leaders. Y'all are. Um, I think it's gonna be Taylor. Uh, what XP? Um, Rocky and SP and Kira. Do a custom for me? We'll have to see, Milky. Maybe you can make something for me in the future if I come up with something. Can you make a capybara? I was actually thinking about asking you to, Hunter, to uh, about making one of the leaders. There are six provenances in in um, Essentia, so hmm. we'll see what we'll see what's going on. But that's something I that. Kinda... What's up? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, that's just something that I have to think about for when I make it. I was wondering if I could design it, like, any time, even if you haven't really Um, uh, I would like to... Yet. I would like to figure out what I want to do first before okay. I make them. And also, like, uh, I would like to make a design, like, based on the, co uh, the colony? Is that what you said it was? Yeah, it's gonna be based yeah. on... Yeah, that, I'm gonna assign those to people. Is it gonna be like like every colony is themed? I yes. Some sort of theme. Okay. All right, I get you then. I'll design something <coughs> uh, relating to that theme whenever you're ready. No, Cap, I'm not making a game. It's just a fun project that I work on. But I wanted Maybe to. Maybe it'll be a game in the future. It could be. It could be something I do in the future. Um. But I wanted to involve some of my closest friends in some way in the creative process because I love doing that shit with the worlds that I make. So, and I thought that this would be the funnest way was for them to make some of the world leaders. Yeah, that's a really fun thing. And yeah, yeah Milky, if I ever find something that I would want to, want you to make a character for, I'll be sure to tell you, dude. I love your character design, so... Um, yeah, so there's a big, uh, no <laughs> there's a big knowledge bomb that you all probably didn't know about. <laughs> it gets me excited to see. I've had that plan for, will design too. yeah, I've had that plan for weeks, by the way, that I was going to do that. 
I just haven't Ooh. said anything about it and whatnot. So. Uh, can't wait for you to like establish mm -hmm. uh, the colonies for each pe each person, so I can design and also see what the others come up with. Yeah. Um. With the reveal of sashimi, all six areas have been talked about now. Oh so shit. We have um. We have <laughs> Minu Era, which is where like apple and mochi come from. And then we have Temporal, which is where, like, licorice comes from. Uh, Voktalsa, which is where curry and cashew come from. Uh, I think of myself. Hummus, which is where um, lemon comes from. Mm. Uh, we have Lambda, which is where uh, basil and mimosa come from. And what was the, what was the last place? Uh, and then we have... Oh, I'm trying to remember what I named it. I have to look it up real quick. In my Essential Lore tab. Where is it? It's Sashimi's... Sashimi's mm. place is the last one that I... made. Uh, Brule <coughs> Brulave. Yeah, Brulave right, is where he comes from. Um, and they're all different in their own ways. One way or another. But I have it general, generally picked out on how the world is laid out and stuff like that. But it'll be fun. Are you going to make a map at some point? <laughs> yeah, I am. Sweet. I am going to make a map. I'm excited. <laughs> I love Essentia. I wish I put as much work on Astoria as I did with, as, as, you, as you're doing with Essentia. Hunter, that freaking stick art looks insane. Where is it? How did you make that? How long did that take you? Whoa! That's amazing. Holy crap. <clears throat> wow. That's really cool. So. How do you get all these ideas for your world? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Just <laughs> comes up over time. Yeah, cuz I'm creative. <laughs> That's why. I I do like keeping things a secret. Milky, you don't even understand, man. There's stuff that I have in my head for the world that hasn't even like I haven't even talked about. Like, and I'll probably never talk about it until it finally... Like, that last lore post I made between uh, a Basilisk Apple versus the Hooded Man... Um, that has, like, a ton of shit with it that I haven't even touched yet. <laughs> Hype. And I refuse to tell anybody about what's going on with that. Because it's a pretty big deal. How dare you? Just kidding. Take your time. Maybe I'll get off my ass one day and finally make uh, some comic bits to better push out the lore. <clears throat> but, anyways. The, That's a secret. Yeah, but the world stuff is done. I just have to make the map and whatnot. I think I'm going to have Taylor do the map because she's good at that. Oops. Ooh. I like... I really like making, like, when I do projects like this, like SF Chronicles and stuff, which was my stick figure thing, I really like making it, like, a collaborative effort. Yeah, that's always nice. That shit's always get, like, fun. Creative process from other people as well, even if it's your project. Love you too, Millie. <laughs> Enjoy your day. Enjoy your day, Millie. I might still be here when you get back, because I'm going to be doing another drawing. But for a better future involving paper, school is mandatory, unfortunately. <clears throat> but once you get out of it, you got all freedom. Yeah, for real. Hey, how you guys doing today? 
I just talked about Essentia for a bit. If you guys are curious about anything else Essentia related, be sure to ask in the chat. I always love talking about my creative process on stuff and whatnot. And I also have a curious cat as well for that. I recently did a curious cat post. Or, well, not recently. That was a while ago. But I did a curious cat, curious cat post talking about the... Um... See ya, Millie. Um, See ya. I, I did a curious cat post some time ago about the magic system in Essentia. And I would like to delve more into that sometime soon in a lore post. Can you briefly touch on it? Because I'm... I don't... Briefly <laughs> touch on the magic system? Yeah. Um, let me see. How do you usually make a world? You start small and then you get big. Like, yeah. when I want to create a world for something, I usually try to be like, alright, what's the premise of this world? Like, what what do I want to what what is like the big unique thing about it and for Essentia it was like okay this place is inhabited by creatures and demons specifically so that gave me uh, the ability to make a lot of really weird designs but also really cute designs too so I could kind of mix the cute and creepy shit together and also a lot of it is kind of a mix between modern and fantasy so it kind of has like sci-fi and high fantasy mixed together um and then and then usually i don't start with making the world first i start with making characters first and then they shape the world as it goes on because i kind of like character driven stories more than world building for the most part with my stuff but that's just me also <laughs> what's important is that you take your time don't yes don't don't rush a story. You want to take your time yeah. m developing everything, because then you'll get a really good product out of it. For sure. Us three still doesn't have a map or anything, or, like, set reasons for certain things, but <clears throat> I don't care much <clears throat> about rushing it right now. I'll develop it over time. So. Always take your time. Um, so the magic system in, uh, one second, sorry. Uh, the magic system in Essentia doesn't work, like, as an inheritance. Like, for a lot of things that I've made before, and for, I would assume, is very similar for a lot of people, is that you're born with the ability to shoot fire. Like, that's just... Mm. that's just what you have like at birth these like elemental characters can use these powers at their will straight from the get-go and that's typically what the root a lot of people go for and it's what i go for too but for th this time i decided okay what if magic isn't something that's earned except for except for um except for demons like Demons down in Hummus, like Lemon and stuff, they have certain abilities that they've inherited from birth. But most magic, like fire and whatnot, is something that you have to study and you have to learn. Which is why Temporal, in Essentia, is like such a big magic place. Because it has like astute <laughs> colleges and universities, specifically for teaching magic. <coughs> you aren't born with it, although some people... Some people in Essentia have higher spirits that can use magic, kind of like uh, like Fritter's family. But you have to, you still have to learn to use it, because um, like Fritter's, I think I talked about it in, in the lore post for Fritter's family. But he, even though his family is specifically endowed with the dragon spirit, whatever. Um, he still teaches his kids how to use that magic because they wouldn't know how to use it otherwise. And Cute. it's all about learning formulas. It's all about understanding the way magic works and how to control it and all this blah, 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 blah and whatnot. Which is why if I, I find it interesting to do that because then you have areas like Valk Tulsa 
where like curry and cashew come from where they don't really use those forms of magic they're more practical based like curry prefers not using magic he just likes to be brutal with a sword and whatnot and cashew even though he's a fortune teller and he uses this puppet thing or whatever um which is pecan he doesn't actually use magic he uses prayer to the like star gods or whatever to do his fortune telling stuff so there's just like a bunch of different ways to do it but the most important thing is that magic is not an inherited thing unless you're a demon it's something that's earned that you have to work for and all that shit so interesting that's yep. a really yep, interesting yep. way to do it <laughs> thank you <laughs> i love i love hearing about it it's very creative too i appreciate that <laughs> I find it cute that Fritter teaches his kids about Yeah. Him. So they can get better. Yeah. Because he was taught when he was a kid, too. That's so cute. But, Aww. I mean, it says a lot about certain characters, because Fritter was inherited with it, and obviously he's very powerful with his magic, but Licorice was not inherited with it at all. He has, like, no magical inheritance from birth but he just like studied so hard and became such a scholar in it that he's like one of the strongest magic users in the entire cast mm. and the dependence the type of magic it is de kind of depends on how difficult <clears throat> it is like licorice knows how to use shadow and light and that's supposed to be like some of the hardest whereas stuff like fire and water is kind of like Kind of like basic bitch material and whatnot. Mm. That makes sense. Oh! Shit, I almost forgot. And the other thing is that inherited, or not inherited, um, combustion magic or like shit that you can just like form out of your hands, that's supposed to be like very, very difficult. Like, Licorice can just make shadow stuff out, out of his hands. Whereas, most characters in Essentia, they're going to get their magic from an object. Like, Mimosa uses a guitar, and um, Sashimi uses the mask. Most magic is conducted through, like, some sort of, like, specific object or whatever that can help them attain it or, like, control it better. And people who can... It's like just it's like separated into like people who can control magic through an object. That's like that's like fairly easy. But people who can just like straight up shoot fire from their hands or whatever. That's like that's like next level shit. That's like very difficult to do. Mm. But anyways, this is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it inspires me a lot, actually. <laughs> Thank you. You've evolved your word faster than mine, but it inspires me to like get ideas for how well. Yeah, man. I want to see your world evolve, too. <laughs> I need to get ideas. It's underdeveloped at the moment, but it'll get somewhere. Take your time. I'm taking my time. Taking my time. Um, why do they got coffee names? Because Latte can't help himself. <laughs> um... Yeah, that, and I just like the names of food a lot. Yeah. So, I just felt curry. like that was like a... <laughs> yeah, I love curry. Kira came up with that one, just so you guys know. Um, I, uh... <clears throat> I, I don't know, I just like the food theme a lot. I've always loved food theme. If I was going to ask if you were to push it as a game, what style would it be? What system style, I guess? Um... Probably just like a typical JRPG, I guess. I don't know. I'd have to think about that. I like when RPGs break the mold by doing something different and weird. I just don't know if Incentia would have something specific in that regard. I've always liked the Mega Man net battle RPG system. That's like fat, quick paced movement. With RPG mechanics is something that I'm like a huge fan of, so I'd probably go for something similar to that. But Whew, oh my god, I've been talking a lot. Holy shit. I'm gonna give my voice a break for a second. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, I did have it as a Game Boy Advance title because I love Game Boy Advance games. Where did my Kira go? <laughs> oh, oh shit. She just messaged me. She said, Thunderstorm turned my PC off. She's, uh, she's not in the call at the moment. So, she'll probably be back soon. I'm gonna keep working on this in the meantime. Hey, I hope you guys have been enjoying the stream. Um, really means a lot to me. I'm gonna keep going till I get this done, and then we'll probably work on the Banjo-Kazooie picture. I know most people will probably leave by then, but that is A-OK. -okay. This is a commission, by the way, by Kira herself. Ugh. An $18 commission. So it is fully shaded. A multi stream? Yeah, I would absolutely love to do multi streams. That's something I've been wanting to do, like, recently. <laughs> um,. The times where I had felt like... The problem is with me and multi-streams is that I like streaming in the morning. And that's not like an ideal time for most people. They typically like streaming in the evening. So finding someone who would want to stream at the same time I do is kind of difficult. Um... <laughs> Got this on here. I'm gonna need to put all this shit in a folder. You have to be fucking kidding me! Welcome back! Uh -huh. It's the second okay. time! On the same picture! Oh, I lost no. the mine out again! You, why you're not saving?! I, th I hope I saved this time, actually. Let me see. I didn't save! Uh, I didn't know my computer would do this again! I don't know if it's a computer. I'm gonna I save now, just because you said there's that. Not a, there's not a uh, thunderstorm. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Uh, what the fuck? Save your work. I'll save it this time. <laughs> uh, now I gotta do the line art for... The third time, are you <laughs> kidding me? Uh -huh. <laughs> I feel so bad for you, but I know the pain. Fucking hell, where's the sketch? I'm trying to find the sketch. There it is. Yeah, I've been getting up early as well, SP. Although today, I like slept in for some reason like an hour late and it makes me angry. I hate when I sleep in late. Haha, <laughs> pee pee. What? Pee pee head. <laughs> what are you talking about? Your pee pee head. Uh, how dare you. Listen, man, I just want to play some Saper Animal Royale. And you're over here calling I know me you a people he pee pee head. People head. While I'm listening to Animal Crossing music. My stream got suspended because I played copyrighted music and yours is fine. What is this? Hi there, Bubblegum Pizza. Welcome to the stream. Hello, Bubblegum Pizza. I think I, I think I recognize you from Kira's stream. Nice to see you. Yeah. Am I done with the coloring? Wait. Oh wow. 
That's a pretty simple character. <laughs> uh, I could do something with the eyes, though. I should still be screen sharing, right? Yeah, I am. Oh, let me check. Yeah, it looks so cool! What do you I love think? Laundry. I think it's amazing. It's perfect. Alright, cool. Just wanted to make sure. Alright, uh, I guess we're gonna get started on shading then. Let's do it. Swinging from side to side. <laughs> to side, side, to side, 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 side. Well, if I just started playing Minecraft music in here, would you guys get angry at me? <laughs> Minecraft parody music. Can you please play the, uh... I don't actually remember what it's called. Don't listen to me. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Have him do a bird? But Percival's like a mix. He is a fluffy boy. What are you talking about, Fission? Also, welcome to the stream, Bubblegum Pizza and Fission. Hope you enjoy yourselves. Grab yourself a warm beverage of your choice! Or don't. It's up to you. Ah! Um, hold on, let me go on the YouTube. We're listening to... Oh, we're listening to uh, Animal Crossing chill music at the moment while I work on... Oh, while well, I work on this commission. I'm so fucking salty. Okay, I know, Keaton. now I'm gonna say Kira.png. Thank you. <sighs> I wasn't calling with Vision last time this happened, but my computer shut off again while working on the same fucking drawing, so I lost the line art again. Oh. Hopefully it doesn't happen again this time. Yeah, I don't know what's causing it. I really can't tell. Ooh, FNAF VR, how did that go, Fission? I can imagine that you shit yourself. I don't know <laughs> if you get scared by scary games or not. I'm a, I'm a big pussy, though. I would not be able to play that. As you could tell from the way I reacted to Lost in Vivo in VR chat. Yeah, and you where weren't I, even in VR. Where I felt like shitting myself. I'm trying to see if there's something loose here. The cables. Maybe there's dust. Maybe that's why. I love my best friends, but I don't know if I can't say it again. What? 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 <laughs> what? What? What's that? What? What's up with that? What? Me and, uh, me and, uh, SP getting gay in the party bush. <laughs> Reg, uh, Reg got to experience that. <laughs> what happened? We were fucking in the party bush. In Super <laughs> Animal Star Royale. Wow? Actually, it turned from... It... it... <laughs> me and, uh, somebody... Somebody was in the party bush, or something like that, while me and Reg were playing last night. And I just, like, went over and I was like, hey, baby. <laughs> That's fucking So we gay. started doing the thing. And then somebody else joined in and it turned into a threesome. <laughs> and then Reg wow. is just over here standing and he's like, oh, oh, I see what's going on. And then he just starts <laughs> clapping at us. <laughs> well, what else would you do when you see a gay origin in the middle of the bush? Like, 
bunch and a of moderator friends. was there, and they just like walked away. Oh my god, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. It was really funny. Uh. A rainbow. Even I can't help my raging homosexuality in a battle royale game. When I say I love my friends, I really mean it. We love you too, Latte. Take it to a whole new level. Um, <laughs> that I mean, includes... Not uh, with Kira. <laughs> I know, I wouldn't want to fuck you. Kira is the exception. <laughs> it's mostly with you, dudes. <laughs> I know, because you're gay as fuck. <laughs> Oh my god, my fucking ass, like, hates this chair. I swear to god, I need a new chair. Mm. I've had this chair for years, and it's the worst thing ever. Oh, hey, I hope y'all are doing well today. drawing a commission for Kira. I know I've stated that multiple times, but just to keep the flow rolling. I think the problem is my computer overheating, but that's never happened before, not even in summer. Maybe it's getting old, man. Maybe it's finally it hitting old. the bucket. How the fuck would I know if it's overheating, though? I don't know. I put a fan next to it. Come over here. Get over here. Uh, exactly, Fission. Kira keeps shedding and her fucking cat fur gets all up in the computer and it's clogging it up. What the fuck? That's the real problem. I need to get my brother to check inside of the computer. Because I can't do that shit. Uh, there you go, you got a fan now. You happy computer? Don't fucking shut off on me again. Stay tuned after the stream, y'all. We'll be, uh, doing some banjo. Banjo art. Because Banjo-Kazooie got announced. Yes. I really hope that Rareware, or Microsoft allows Rareware to, um, port the first two games to the Switch. I would love to play through those games on a Switch controller. Although I really could just play them on my Xbox One, but... Need that support. I can't believe they got it to happen. I'm still in shock. Like, Dragon Quest Hero? Okay. Oh, I can, yeah. I, I can accept that. I can accept that that happened. I kind of saw it coming, too. Um, but Banjo-Kazooie? 
I wanted it to happen, and I had a, a feeling maybe it could happen, but I never truly thought that it would actually happen. And uh, now it's here. So uh, that's pretty fucking crazy. Okay. We still have two more character slots left, though, for Smash, so I'm wondering who those are going to be. Alright, now we're doing shading over here, and make it darker. No, 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 what? Steve, no Minecraft, Steve, make it go <laughs> away. I'm so, I'm so tired of hearing about it. It's not going to happen. I don't ever want it to happen. Rayman. Rayman, I can accept. Doom guy, I don't know about that. I would not be against it. Master Chef. I do want Master Chief. I do want Master Chief. I really want that to happen. Um, Alright, Riz. Take care. Sleep well. See you, Riz. I absolutely hate... I, I detest the idea of Minecraft Steve and Smash. Poyo, Arl is not going to make it in. I'm sorry, Darren. <laughs> Stop believing. He, he can dream. He can dream. Uh-uh. Does Windows updates shut down your computer? No. Without warning? Okay. Because I got an update after... No, me. that just happens sometimes. Where it updates after a shutdown. But no, yeah, I've no. never had it shut down my computer. Alright, SP. See ya. So, for anybody still in here, what did you see at E3 that, like, what are your hot takes on E3 and, like, your opinions? Was there any big things that you were excited about? Was there anything that you just didn't, you were like, eh, that you were hoping that would be better or something or what? I'm, I'm curious about everybody's thoughts because we're finally past it. You know, we've been waiting for a while for it, and now it is it is over. It has subsided. <laughs> I have to be honest. Ubisoft and Microsoft were not as poppin' this year as I was expecting. I was really hoping they were going to go out of their way to make a good presentation like they did the last year, but they really didn't. I was pretty disappointed. Surprisingly, Square Enix amazed me. Square Enix was, like, the same level as Nintendo. Yeah, they went hard. Okay. Time for the next part of the shading. Oh wait, I gotta do the luminosity first. Ha! 
How long have we been streaming for? Two hours and 54 minutes. Okay. Sweet. I'm assuming this is going to be done in about 30 minutes. Just my guesstimation. We're going to swap over to Banjo-Kazooie music um, when I start working on the other picture. Yo, Keanu Reeves being in uh, Cyberpunk, I actually like that a lot. John Wick, he's breathtaking. He's sexy. What a beautiful boy. Keanu Reeves is also just like a super down-to-earth guy. So, I always appreciate seeing him. Mansion 3 already. <laughs> when is that dropping? Um, I don't remember. I can't remember. If anybody remembers when Luigi's Mansion 3 is dropping, can you tell me? Because I really want it. It's like a first day buy for me. coffee left. Good thing I have this bottle of Gatorade here. Aw, yeah. Wow, that's Gatorade. Only three <laughs> rules in life, everybody. Get paid, get laid, Gatorade. That's just not true. Oh my god, that tastes like a fucking watered-down Jolly Rancher. Blah. Gatorade's disgusting, guys. Ah, the blue Why do you have okay. it? <laughs> Because I'm thirsty. In more ways than one. <laughs> but only the blue Gatorade is like, okay. You're thirsty for the blue Gatorade. Ah, this is the red Gatorade, which is significantly worse. What does it taste like? Watered down Jolly Rancher. I know what those are. You don't know what that is? You're talking to a uh, uh, European... Are you peeing? Are you peeing? <laughs> then we just like crash into a building. Water. What sick fantasies do you have? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now I'm curious. No, you're not. Why would you be curious about something like that? Because I'm also a sadist. 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 I put on a CH and will do 4K there. Yeah, I'm a sadist too. 
I'm like sad all the time. Hashtag sad hours. Dude. I get off to being sad. <laughs> hey, does anybody here follow? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not what I was going for. Does anybody Sorry, here? What are you gonna say? Does anybody here follow ZFG? Might just be me. What's that? It's a speedrunner. Because uh, he recently just improved his uh, Ocarina of Time world record. How much? Um, By a, a minute 40 seconds or something like that. What's, his, been, what's been, his record? Uh, He's been working at it for months now. And he's been trying to get to a time that he's finally satisfied with. But he can beat... Uh, Ocarina of Time 100% in I think it's like 3 hours 53 minutes 12 seconds whoa all of, all of Ocarina of Time yeah that's pretty crazy hey hey Yo. latte yes wanna hear me speed run yeah alright Oh, I'm back. A speed run. You didn't get a personal best. What was my record? These nuts. Keldeo is better than what you think. <laughs> Did Fission do the legendary list? No, it was one of our friends. Oh, okay. Ah, something like that. Caldeo is overrated. What? I think it's underrated. No. You don't realize how many people love Caldeo. Because it's a, it's a cute sword horse. <laughs> Hello, Cian Ravello. Welcome Yoshi. to the stream. I always forget that that's Yoshi. Oh, welcome to the stream! Grab yourself a warm beverage of your choice or a donut. It's up to you and enjoy the sounds of rainy Animal Crossing music while I work on this commission. <laughs> I'm, uh, working on a commission right now. After this, we're gonna, um, do a Banjo Kazooie picture to celebrate. The new character announcement. Hope you enjoy your time here. Coffee is delicious. That is a fact. Coffee is not. Co coffee. I. Do you want to like I... continue that sentence? No, I don't. Okay. I have. That was a controversial opinion. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me, dude. I am also excited for Banjo, yes. I can't wait to draw a picture for him to commemorate the announcement. I'm sure my friend, who is a extremely huge fan of uh, Banjo-Kazooie, he's probably flipping his shit over the announcement. I'll have to look at his Twitter sometime to see if he's <laughs> posted anything. How are you doing today, Yoshi? She was talking in her sleep earlier. Oh my god. I don't remember what she said. But she was also snoring. <laughs> she was sleeping in the call you were in? Yeah. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Nice. <laughs> nice. There's the boy Percival. Ah, he's so cute. 
Let's throw an overlay on that boy. Ah, oh, you drew him so good. Yikes! There he is, yep. Uh, luminosity. <laughs> Looking good, Percival. Looking her size. Ha ha. Let's fix this canvas a bit. Doing good, Yoshi. I lost my line art for a second time. Oh wait, you were sleeping when that happened. Uh my computer shut off completely when I was making the line art for this drawing of Kira. When I was in call with you guys, and then, and then it did the same thing again a few minutes ago when I was in call with, when I'm in call with Latte. Yeah, Kira's getting wrecked. I hate it. I texted my brother about it though. So hopefully he'll come here tomorrow and fix it. I'm doing all right, Yoshi. Just uh, chilling out, man. Playing. Some music, listening to some rad beats while I work on this drawing. Can't wait to draw some banjo. Working on this commission for Kira. Almost done with it. <laughs> she commissioned me this morning and I was like, alright, I have something to do on stream today. Because why not? I would just commission you to draw one of my characters. Yeah, it was uh, pretty unexpected. I wasn't ex definitely wasn't ready for that. I, I was thinking about it for a while. I just couldn't decide on a character. Well, I'm glad it was Percival. So I love drawing. <laughs> I, I love Percival as a character. Thank you. We'll do a mix of blue and purple for this background. My two favorite colors. Mm hmm. How do I want to do this? Okay, I have an idea. I know what I'm going to do. Let's grab my good old trusty cloud tool, huh? Perfect. Oh, yeah.
That looks kind of cool. Ah, oh, it looks so red! I like that. Oh! This was worth the money. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, let's try something here. I'm sorry about that one. I didn't know it was going to be all wet. <laughs> Oops. I will put him through a screen filter real quick. Something lighter. Yeah, there we go. Uh, what do you think? Perfect. I'm really happy with it. Sweet. I love how you drew my boy. My bird part of my boy. I should stop speaking. <laughs> Hi, Lux. A little signature. Hi, Lux. Nice to see you, buddy. 
Welcome to the stream. Grab yourself a warm beverage of your choice, or don't. It's up to you, and uh, enjoy the sounds of rainy Animal Crossing music. We're about to swap over to the Banjo-Kazooie drawing, because I ah. just finished. <laughs> ah, I love it. I'm glad that you love it. I'm fairly happy with how it turned out. You should be. Thank you, Fission. I appreciate it. I'm going to upload this to Twitter real quick, and then I'm going to take a tiny break to go to the restroom and get some drink. Oh god, do I have to entertain them? Yeah, you're going to have to. No, I'll still be here. It's alright. What? Not when you go into the bathroom. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? Don't go to the bathroom while you're streaming. <laughs> Are you crazy? Uh, no, wait. I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. I need to... Open recent personal commission. There we go. Change resolution. There we go. The reason I do this, for anyone curious, is because it it uh, preserves the quality of the art when I post it on Twitter. It has to be under 900 pixels. Yep, because Twitter has weird standards. And now I am not in peace anymore. It's Mario Sunshine, ain't it? It's a uh, ASTUI, right? Yeah. Astui. Yes, Astui. Twitter now and uh, get some things set up. You guys can look at the finished product in a second. See. See what's happening. All right. Let's wait. What? Okay. Where's there? You are. Ah, uh, it's amazing! Thank you so much, Latte! <laughs> I'm glad. I love this drawing. I'm glad that you love it. I'll throw it in your server as well. Me... Yeah. He's a, he looks like a good boy in your style. No, it's not Atsui. It's Astui. 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 <laughs> Astui. Not sure how I came up with that name, but it works. <laughs> Turn on the... Checking my stuff real quick. Give me one moment, guys. For once in my life, I don't have a headache for most of the day. That's nice. Yeah. I did. I've been having a massive headache for like three days now. second guys here you may not ever whoops okay got my references up 
I'm gonna let you guys look at this while I take a quick BRB. Yeah, I'll, I'll entertain them for you. I don't know how, because I'm not funny. Oh, I will be right back, boys. We will okay. continue. Uh, uh, he 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 hello, stream. It's me, Kiwa. And, uh, 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 how are you guys doing? Uh, how, how's, how's life? Juggle for you? Okay, alright, juggle. Uh, well, you can't really see me. How are you gonna know if I'm juggling? Uh, it's... Uh... Uh... uh, uh, uh shit, I don't like, I don't know this. Uh, Latte, come back, please. Uh... The drawing came out amazing. Lottie uh, is in the bathroom right now. I'm entertaining the stream while he's gone. Not sure how I'll entertain it because I'm not. I'm not. F uh, I'm not good. I'm not good at being alone. I. You have faith that I juggled. Okay. Just for your sake, please pretend that I'm juggling like a bunch of dangerous objects. Just to make it, you know, more interesting. Uh, well, Latte is an amazing artist and a good friend. Uh, he is, uh, he's the MVP coffee man. He is funny. He's sweet. He's kind. He's very caring. He has very nice characters, very nice, very creative ideas for his characters and world. I don't know if he's wearing his headset right now while he's taking a dump, but I don't know. Maybe he is. If he is, then I'm gonna judge him. Um. Um. Hmm. What else could I talk about? I mean, there's a lot to talk about about Latte. But, I mean, I could go on and on. Hmm. But I feel like that would be too much. Uh, well, yes, what I'm saying is Latte is cute, and he isn't that cute. Uh, well, everybody who's watching the stream right now is a furry. That's established, by the way. If you're, if you're here, then that means you're a furry. Uh, no exceptions. All of you are now furries and you're obligated to to be one and say ooh woo at all times you can't say otherwise yes I am tired because I woke up very early you too are fur um do you guys do, do you guys like pizza I could I could or I could Offer you some pizza. Not not for Latte though. He he has to. I know this is his stream, but uh, you know, pizza party. Uwu, thank you for the uwu. And what if you're not? Uh, too bad you are now. Haha. <laughs> you can't do anything about it. Um. I'm. <sighs> And if you don't want pizza, I've got some Swedish meatballs straight from Ikea, because that's how Sweden works. Um, I'm currently hearing a bunch of loud noises, and I don't appreciate it, because I am sensitive to loud noises. So not throwing pizza in the area might land at my doorstep. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I could just throw it into to England. You better you better catch it. It might land on your uh, it might land on your roof. <sighs> you gotta make sure that it does not land on your roof, or it might crash through the window. That too. Uh, we're right now looking at Latte's beautiful drawing of my character. Uh, that I commissioned him for $18. You guys should commission Latte. He's a great artist. And he should... He he makes characters look very cute with his style. Very cute slash cool slash whatever. He can do it. This man has talent. 
I mean, look at that. Look at the drawing you're looking at right now and tell me he doesn't have talent. He's got a lot of talent. Hmm. Sorry for the gushing, Latte. Did you hear that? Did you hear uh, all of that? I did hear all of that. <laughs> <laughs> Fight number you, best. You, you did a great job. I'm proud of did you. Did I? Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I like the pizza stuff. That was funny. And the everyone's a furry. I'm, I am... I am for this policy that everyone is a furry in my stream. Yeah, you can't escape it. You got it. Mm -hmm. Sorry about gushing about you for so long. <laughs> it was cute. <laughs> so, now he's <sighs> back. That was all for me, boys. I'm just kidding. I'm not <laughs> leaving. I'm just saying that's all for my juggling because they wanted me to juggle. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Let's see. In my stream, we were looking at the dra your drawing of my character. We were <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I was telling them we were looking at my the drawing you did, but we were looking at Banjo and Kazooie. Yeah, you were. I just changed it. Oh, okay. We're going to be drawing Banjo funny. and Kazooie, everybody. Oh, yeah. Can't Thanks. wait to see how you do it. Coincidentally, the... Animal Crossing music just ended, so it's time to move on to the Banjo Kazooie OST. Give me one moment. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at my friend's Twitter real quick because he he changed his name already to what? Banjo Kazooch Nagi. <laughs> um, my good friend Are you Nagi. Tag him? I want to see if he said anything. I want to see if he said anything about <laughs> it when it came out. <laughs> yeah, he's freaking out. He was freaking out. Sweet. It makes me happy to see his tweets about Banjo. Alright. Uh, wow, these designs have big titty. I am a fan of this. <coughs> Alright. Sorry, I'm looking at my Twitter timeline at the moment. Yeah, seeing big titty on your timeline. Reg made a tier list of the starters and he put breaks in it. Haha, <laughs> lol, yif material. <laughs> Aonuma is saying that Breath of the Wild 2 is... Sh or Aonuma or somebody within Nintendo is saying that Breath of the Wild 2 is shaping up to be darker than Majora's Mask. I'm down for that. Alright, Fission. Okay, Take care. What's up? Reg made a starter tier list. Pokeball starter tier list. Oh shit, let me take a look at that. He put breaks in and haha lol yif material. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Rude. <laughs> at least we have similar opinions on Gen 5 and Gen 7. Um, alright. How dare you! Okay, so let's see. Can we get our Banjo Kazooie OST on? Ba full Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie soundtracks. All right, guess we're listening to this. Here it is, boys. Banjo music. Good music. Yeah, I'd give Brexit. It's good shit. Brexit? <laughs> hmm. 
Duh. Duh. It looks hmm. so cute in that art. I know. Oh, Look at his big old some... pawsies. <laughs> he's got the he's got the beans. All right, Yoshi. Go watch him get spooked. Yeah. Hope he gets super spooked. I apologize. I apologize too. I feel bad for you. <laughs> Yikes. If anybody doesn't know, Kira has a, a visitor at her house. Well, that's the lightest way you can put it. Yeah. They're very annoying. So uh, I apologize personally <laughs> for any of the noise. I can mute. Yeah, no talk. worries. Don't worry about it. Okay. I don't personally give a shit. Uh, <sighs> I'm a grown man. I right. go to sleep. Oh, okay. But I want to finish this Kira drawing first. If my computer doesn't shut off again, that'd be great. Decide on what pose I want to do. Is this gonna be sketchless? <sighs> Don't know. Yes, we need more made Kira in our lives. We need made Apple. We do. Did someone say May? If. <laughs> Nobody's in here has seen it, but I have drawn Apple in a maid outfit, and it's cute. How about you show it now? I don't have it on me. Oh, okay. If All right, can, it's in your laptop. If, if you can find it in our server chat, then I'll show it up on screen. I don't remember right, where it is, on. though. Actually, just look up maid. if you can't find it, I may be able to find it in a different server. God, they kept the classic design so well. I'm trying to. Oh, Apple's gay as fuck, dude. Sorry, I have to like figure out how to transfer this thing I'm seeing here into my art style. Yeah. Uh. It's, gonna, it's gonna take a second. Uh. Um, might have been in the bot chat actually. No, it was definitely in the server. Oh. I know, I can look for it. Hold on, so everybody can see it. Rip blocky banjo. Yep, we never want him back. All right, let me look for this picture real quick for you guys. There we go, I found it. 
Found All right. it. Oh yeah. I'm gonna throw it up on screen for everybody. I don't. I don't remember how old this picture is. It's uh. It was from March. Yeah. I drew this in March. Here is. Uh. Apple in a maid outfit. There it is. You guys are seeing it. <laughs> They're so Ugh. cute. Oh, actually. I <laughs> I drew Fritter as a maid too. Yes, and I love that picture very much. I'll do you have the sure. colored version? I do have the colored version. It's wow, exclusive sweet art that is not on Twitter. Wow, where is it? Try and look for the colored version. Uh... Right, it's not in... It's in my folder called Cool and Cute Pictures. Here it is. Here you go, Lassie. Hit me. Oh my god, that picture is so fucking gorgeous, dude. Stan colored it, not me. I put ribbons on his horns because he would look weird with that hair thing. Otherwise. Here you go, guys. Here's the picture that Kira drew and Stan colored. I absolutely love this picture so much. It's one of my favorite drawings they've ever made. <laughs> I don't know if I've made it my icon before, but I want to do that now. Um, I think it's because I didn't really want to post this drawing. Or something. Well, I mean, fuck I kind of do. It's gonna be my no. icon. Yeah, you can do that. Do it if you wanna. But I'll do that after the stream. <laughs> but yeah, I love says. <sighs> Turn out to be the best E3. <laughs> <laughs> I love Stan's coloring on his. Freaking amazing. Hey, it fits with the fact that I thought Fritter was a girl when I first saw him. <laughs> I'm still amazed by that. <laughs> it's when I just started following you, okay? It's alright. Stan is a very <laughs> talented artist, yes. Yes. I agree with that. And he's. His coloring is out of this world, man. Yeah, it is. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a great time.
and after this stream, I'm probably going to waste my day away with more with? Animal Royale. Guaranteed. Yeah, you, that's what you're gonna do. Unfortunately. What do you mean, unfortunately? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You wanna, you wanna fight? Got a problem? Yeah, 1v1 Lux in SAR. Have you gotten better? Can't wait to play against you, Lux. Maybe we'll play a bit after this. Fight crime? Ooh. Now I'm interested. You and Reg form a partnership? I ship you guys. <laughs> I do too. can't make me shush the truth. feels like a fever dream to see Banjo make it into this fucking game. <laughs> uh, even though I had a feeling... Yeah, it really does feel like a fever dream. How do I do the tough so spot on? Lots of practice. Just, you know, doing, doing it different ways over and over again, and then f when you finally figure out what it's supposed to look like, it just comes to you. Although I'm not very happy with this belt, I'm going to fix it real quick. It needs to be fixed. Just a little bit. There we go. The shirtless Eggman? No. It was awesome. What are you <laughs> talking about? I'm so excited for Olympic Games, though. It's so cool. Home country. 
uh, oh, yeah. uh, Olympic Games this time. Oh, yeah. Eggman with nips. You bet. I need to make his head just a little smaller. <laughs> mm, or maybe I'll just leave it for now and then edit it afterwards. Yeah, I'm really hoping the freaking uh, Tony Hawk simulator is actually just as good. Like, I, like it's actually like a full-on skating thing. <laughs> but I have a feeling it won't be. It's probably just going to be like button prompts. Wow, I'm actually really happy with how this pose looks so far. Let's see. Ooh, that looks good. Thank you. Exciting. <laughs> Not exciting for me, that's a lot of work. Well, are you enjoying it? I suppose. Exactly. Must <laughs> <laughs> be. Bless you. Thank you. This is my first time drawing Banjo, just so anybody, everybody knows, is curious. Literally never drawn Banjo before. Well, it's <laughs> nice to see how he looks in your style. Hi, Reg. Welcome back. Hi, Reg. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm probably going to play some uh, SAR after this, Reg, if you want to join in. I'm going to hit my level 20, man. I got to get to it. I'll join too, probably. Radical. I thought you were going to sleep. I want to play, though. Fair enough. It's all your fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm also not sorry. Yeah, I know. I'm really indifferent to these hands. I'm gonna have to redo them. Hmm. Damn, I love how you do that still. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty happy with hands. I just don't like the way those hands look. They shouldn't look like that. Yellow, yellow. They are, they were adorable Lex, but the problem is, is that they, that's not how hands should look, like, from that angle and stuff, so I need to fix, so I had to fix it. Lux, you look perfectly human. Who's what?
you have 989 tweets. Oh, wow. The banjo one will be your 990. Nice. Well, I have to delete the curious cat tweets. So... Not yeah. actually. Not entirely true, unfortunately. But you'll get there soon. <laughs> I love banjo kazooie music. It's great. Oh, I forgot his backpack. Shoot. I gotta do that. Banjo Kazooie's uh, soundtrack is pretty fucking good, Reg. <coughs> Bless yeah. you. You alright? Thanks. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, yeah, there's new Hamtaro plushies being released. Ooh! That's kind of rad. They look so cute. Yeah! The franchise isn't dead. I wish you were here earlier, Reg, when you could have heard Kira raging at me <laughs> over the <laughs> legendary tier list. When I, I pay when I placed that mesprit in the trash bin. <sighs> I'm not forgiving you for that. Mesprit is cute and deserves to be protected. Mesprit is my Sprit. Did you like my pun? I'm not gonna acknowledge it. Why not? How's your guys' day been? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Listen, man, I'm just trying to exist. Yuxi's the best. Thank... Thank you, Reg. Thank you. Yuxi is the best out of all three. Yuck. See. Yuck. There we go, those hands are much better. That, Ooh. that looks good, yeah. I like that, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Stop crying. <laughs> Fuck you. Why did my mom just randomly text me a thumbs up? Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with that, Cyvex. Huh? Randomly kids' videos recommendations. Yeah, that happens in my videos too. I'm not sure what's up with that. Watch Johnny Johnny. Yes, Papa. All right, then we'll do it. <laughs> Except not actually, because I don't feel like tainting this stream with that shit. To the spooky graveyard. Ah, 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 ah. Mad Monster Mansion, maybe. I'm organizing my files right now. Because nice. Why not. Yes. I know, man. Same. I'm really in the banjo mood now. I don't think I've ever truly completed a banjo game. 
Nani Kore. Okay. <clears throat> oh, this picture. <laughs> Whew. It's freaking huge. I kind of liked it, liked it more when Kazooie looked a little more androgynous, so I'm going to try to do that. Because she clearly looks like a girl here. Kazooie is not gay. What? Of course she is. There's no way. I ship Banjo and Kazooie so hard. There's no way she's gay. <laughs> Also, hello, Bills. Welcome to the stream. Grab yourself a hello, Bills. warm beverage of your choice, or don't. It's up to you. And enjoy the sounds of Banjo-Kazooie while I draw just that. Yeah. No, yeah. Banjo-Kazooie has been confirmed a girl m multiple times in the game as well. Like, Kazooie's always been known as a girl, but they made her look androgynous. Kazooie has always been a girl. Don't don't try to say that shit, Lux. Like, it's always been confirmed that Kazooie's a girl. They even say her and she and stuff in the game. But... Yeah, who's saying this? What? Isn't it confirmed to be a girl? Yeah, Kazooie's always been confirmed to be a girl. Even in-game. Um, but I kind of like that Kazooie looked more androgynous. Like, like gender-neutral. She's very tomboyish, whereas in this render, she kind of looks a little girly because of the eyelashes and stuff. So. No, no dreaming, Lux. Allow the straight sh ship to happen. <laughs> It's cute, all right?
Oh my god, that scares the shit out of me every time that happens. Classic song. Yeah, this is uh, Click Clock Wood, I think it's called. I just want to remind you all that all this music was written by a beautiful man named named Grant Kirkhope. Mm -hmm. We share the same first name, so I uh, take great pride in this. <laughs> <laughs> but really, though, he's a freaking genius when it comes to music. I am, in fact, a grant. Yeah, I'm secretly Grant Kirko. As if everybody else hasn't <laughs> made that joke already around me for years. I forgot how absolutely lovable these characters are. How oh, they are, even for people who haven't played the game. Nah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Latte Zero, I don't... I don't refer to myself with a zero anymore. I'm finally shedding the level zero part of my history away. It feels really weird. It'll probably. Why are you gonna change your YouTube name? Discord... I no Discord name. To... Discord name? Yeah, I guess I do need to do that. 
it's going to be just lots of latte? Yeah. Mm. I recently changed my Twitch to lots of latte, and that felt very strange for me. And also Steam. Yep. You guys don't understand, man. I've been level zero for a very long time before I swapped over the latte, and it's very hard to uh, shed it. <laughs> I kind of want to make her tail feathers poof out cutely. Uh, alright, there's the sketch. Time to line over it. Let me make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Yeah, I think we're good. I was um, level zero, well, for a long time, back in 2010 or late 2009, I arrived onto the YouTube scene as Frostbite 4.0, and I was just that, doing Let's Plays and stuff, which my videos are still online, you can find them, uh, they're very cringy, but I did that for four years. And I would not change. I would not change my name until about late 2013. Um, I would not change until about late 2013 when I became level zero to infinity, shortened to level zero um, over time. And I kept that until about 2016 when I started going under the moniker of Latte at Smash tournaments. Um, and then I kind of just ran with being both Latte and Level Zero for, like, a long while, and it wasn't until about earlier this year or so that I was like, okay, I'm there, you know, earlier this year or late last year that I was like, okay, I'm going full on, I'm just Latte now, and I've completely accepted that, but it's been really weird. Alright. And you're not planning on changing it anytime soon? No, I feel like Latte is completely a part of me now. There's no way I could change it. Good. Good. Really, Reg? I am all of me, yeah. You know what, Reg? You're only like... Actually, I don't know how old you are. I'm gonna assume 16. 15 or 16. That's my guess. That's my educated guess. Um, you're gonna change your internet name again soon, I'm sure. Although, uh, you could be like Kira and have the same name for a very, very long time. Not planning on changing. Ever. I've been switched since 2013. Turning 17 in a month? Nice. 15. Oh, you're 20. In a month, huh? Haha! <laughs> Sounds like a uh, birthday present is in order. Mm hmm. How about I uh, make that for Sona for you, huh? Yeah, Kira's been sweared for a very long time. Because I am so weird. Ha ha, I'm weird. Ha ha.
What are you doing? <laughs> it's a magnet. It's on my oh, my phone case. I'm just fucking. Oh. Uh, I didn't know Kira until last August. But we had most likely encountered each other before. Yes, it's actually very we likely that we've met before on the internet. Mm-hmm. Because I was actually subscribed to his wife ten years ago. And we were both part of the uh, Kiroro fandom on iScribble at the same time. Yep. And also part of the DeviantArt furry community. Mm-hmm. Animation meme. <laughs> it feels weird when people say, you were my childhood. That's just so weird to me. <laughs> I wonder if I'm anybody's childhood yet. Um, probably? I don't know. Depends on what you posted online, and how many saw it. Yeah, but I mean like, currently. Milky. Oh shit, you actually might be right about that. <laughs> That's so cute. I love Milky. <laughs> I'm glad, Lux. It flatters me with that. that, that, that you, you stick or stuck around for so long. <laughs> Lounge. <sighs> I'm your SAR sensei. I'm pretty sure you're better than me at Animal Royale, dude. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Oh! I just noticed an ant is crawling on- or not an ant, but a gnat is crawling on my screen. I just squished it. Just flick that onto the floor now. <laughs> to be vacuumed up later. Gross. I saw like a line moving on my screen. I was like, the hell? <laughs> Have you seen that video of some guy who got, like, an, an ant inside of his monitor? No! I'm gonna show you, hold on. The video's hilarious. Fighting games? Yeah, dude, um... Wait until... Uh... Ah, man. I feel bad because I don't want to make you have to go out and buy a fighting game. But, unfortunately, there's no real way you'll be able to play anything unless, like with me online unless you do buy it. But, once I can get access to my friend's, um, unless I buy it myself at some point. Once I get access to my friend's Steam account and get his copy of uh, Undernight. Oh, okay. I I want to teach you Undernight specifically because... Not only because it's my favorite fighting game, but it's what is considered one of the most well-balanced, integral, beginner-friendly fighting games. It's one of those games that's easy to learn, hard to master. So once you begin your fighting game journey there, it can you can get a lot of experience through it the longer you play it. Okay, I'll check it out in a bit. <laughs> I really want to do this lining. <laughs> but the the nice thing about Undernight is that whatever you learn in it, you can carry on to other fighting games. And I've actually taught many other people, some of my friends, some of my closest friends, their first fighting game through Undernight. And they have moved on to other traditional fighters because of it. 
So I have good uh, good faith in using it as a teaching tool. I'm also just most comfortable with that game. So also, if you want uh, edgy designs galore, that game is like perfect. Yeah, Lux, just look up Undernight characters and you'll get the gambit of amazing character designs. Some serious Husbando material in there. And Waifu, obviously. I gotta give my hand a little bit of a break. Whew. Watch the watch the video. All right. Oh. Y'all are gonna hear this for a second. Hold on. There is an ant in my monitor. How did he get in there? What the fuck? Get out! What's going on? What? I have no idea how that happens. How? I'll be right back. One second. Where are you going? Nothing. You mean nothing? Nothing. Y'all enjoying this stream? I'm not in the chat right now, hold on. Doot. Doot, doot. Real doot hours. The lining process of these drawings is always the longest part. Once I get past that and start coloring and stuff, it's like easy peasy from there on out. I haven't done like a full drawing with like a um, BG in a long time. Forgot to add his belt. The hell. Uh oh. Cool.
Oop. We have moved on to the Banjo Tui soundtrack, boys. Not some bolts. No. <laughs> I don't think that's included in this. You did not hear the Sonic Unleashed opening. I'm sorry, Lux. Get your mind off the hedgehog. It's Baron Bird time, baby. The opening where Bottles fucking dies. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just got what you meant, Lux. <laughs> That's funny. Get your... It would be like... Hey, kids. Get your mind off the hedgehog. It's time to think about the bear and the bird. Banjo-Tooie is coming to the N64. Stronger, fast, <laughs> stronger and faster processing powers than the Sega, than the Sega Saturn. <laughs> it's time to jump into the greatest platformer coming to you this fall. Nintendo 64. Power to the player. Damn. That's not legit. <laughs> I do a... David Humphrey. What? How? That doesn't sound anything like David Humphrey. I... do I really? I don't know if I sound like David Humphrey that much. I've always been really self-conscious about my shadow voice. Why? You sound like him. I don't know, because I'm never really sure if I sound right or not. Hmm... I'm always down to do little voice acting things if you guys ever ask for requests or whatever. Yay, you did that. Yeah, it's fun for me. Like, stuff like, say this is Shadow or some shit. 
I always find those really fun. This time, what the heck? Yeah. Oh, MC Ride. Try to think of a song. <sighs> Triple six, five, four, ten. Subatomic penetration, rapid fire through your skull. I don't really, I don't really know what else to say. Is MC Ride. <laughs> Hustle bones all up in my mouth! <sighs> I can't scream like he does. What do you want me to say, Lux? <laughs> it's much better when I'm like singing a song while listening to it at the same time. <laughs> Blue cunt. I have to try to say that without wanting to use Tommy Wiseau's accent. It's too easy. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. What do you want, you blue cunt? I think I went too deep on that one. What do you want, you blue cunt? There we go. That's better. It's not true. I did not hit her. I did not. <laughs> All right, we're done with uh, line art. Let's do some coloring. Actually, ended up turning out pretty good. The lineup looks amazing, dude. Thank you. I think I'm gonna try Can't to grab a. Nah, actually, I'm gonna use these colors, yeah. Maria, I promised you revenge. Select a player or select a stage. <laughs> oh my god, select a player. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's what it sounded like. Select a stage. Choose your story. Options menu. doing shadow voice shit while there's banjo kazooie music in the background sounding all goofy
I was doing a little fan dub the other day of Shadow's appearance in the Sonic Boom TV show, because I like his lines in that. You gotta try to do it again now. No, I don't have the lines on me. Hmm. I just... It was, it was a lot of fun, though, when I was doing it. That's good. I like your Sonic voices, Lux. I think they sound really good. It's very accurate. It is super accurate. Zooey has such a cute design. She does. It's adorable. I fucking love her colors. <laughs> Kazooie is super bay. Ultimate waifu status. Ultimate cutie status. Can't agree. Yikes! Yike. E one yike.
Hey, I hope you guys are enjoying the stream right now and uh, the drawing that is being currently worked on. Of course they are. Um, we are at about the halfway point of this drawing, if not close to the end. Just got some oh. coloring and shit to do. It's, it's been... gonna look great when it's finished. Thank you. It's been a really fun stream. And happy to have you guys around. Hee <laughs> hee. And they're happy to see you. <laughs> Thank you, Lux. Stop waking up so late, Bills. It's not good for you. Well, I know this stage. Look at the big old green eyes. Wait, what color eyes does Banjo have? Oh, okay, it's blue. Almost always. Although today, for some reason, I when I woke up, I ended up passing back out and sleeping for a little longer, which I hate when I do that. But uh, I slept. I usually try to sleep from about midnight to seven in the morning. It's like every night. Same. I, I most of the time I have to like force myself to wake back up, or like I have to like force myself yep. to get up immediately, or else I'll fall back asleep. Same here. There was a time in my life where I was like staying up until like three or four in the morning every night. It was insane. <laughs> it, was... it doesn't feel good. No, it does not. But I still do it. <laughs> I've been trying to get better about it. 
good. Because I feel like... Alright. I know most people aren't morning people. But I feel like if I wake up too late in the day, I feel like my entire day is wasted. Mm. I understand most people do their shit at night, though. But... Because we're more motivated at night. Yeah. For me personally, though, if I wake up too late, uh, I feel like most of my day has been wasted. I need that morning time. I like being up at 7 in the morning. I feel like I can get a lot accomplished. Like, if I would have started my stream a little earlier than I did today, I could have been done earlier, but... Oh well. It's alright. You're doing it now. I am doing it now. It's fine, though. Hey, at least most of you guys are on uh, summer vacation now. Yeah. Congrats to those who have graduated. Yes. Big congrats. Y'all have to, uh, reg for your birthday thing. If I end up doing it, I mean, I get busy, but, um... For your birthday thing, y'all have to send me what you'd want your fursona to look like. I know you want an Umbreon, I think. I can do Pokemon. But I want to make you a fursona, because I haven't made somebody a fursona in uh, quite a while. <laughs> and I know you like doing that. I do. Gives me great joy. <laughs> to make people personas. Oh. Like big old bills here. I made his persona. Yeah, I know you don't have a picture reference reg. If you just give me like a like a send me a Discord DM of like a fairly detailed, wor detailedly uh, wor like worded reference, I should be able to do it for you. I need to make it just a little more red. And as something that I also like doing, I can always interject my own ideas to make it like look a little more unique or something. Which you're really good at. <laughs> Cute furries. Yeah. Uh, 
that's a huge thing in the banjo soundtrack. Cybex is this late motif, which uh, interjects the theme of banjo into other sounds. It's more prominent in Banjo 1 because the entire game takes place in Spiral Mountain, which is Gruntilda's lair or whatever. So it always kind of gives off this feeling that, like, even though they're really happy and cheery songs, uh, Gruntilda's always watching and she's always around. That's kind of scary. Yeah, it's the way you put it. It's clever, like, doing that. They do that in Undertale a lot, too. It has a lot of late motifs. Hmm. Uh, leitmotif in general is just a reusing of themes uh, within different tracks. Drew the Noid? Are you serious? Don't don't commission me that, please. What? I would not feel... No. I would not feel comfortable drawing that face. I will... I. Like, I'd have to, like, heavily alter it. But I will... Uh, I will refund you. I'm just warning you right now. I refuse to do it. Did they? Hold on, I'm gonna look that up. I I kind of see it, how how it looks a little more cutesy in the Yonoid 2 style. It's still just really fucking weird. Triangle head man? What are you talking about, Fission? Help the chat again. Oh. <laughs> if I drew Noid, I'm... I don't know. I feel like I'd alter it a lot to be a lot cuter, more well-rounded as a character design. <laughs> Probably make it look more like a platformer or something. You want to know? <laughs> Jesus Christ. The more, like, it's not entirely that I'm against drawing it. It's more that, in, like, if you actually pay me, I, I may do it. But the problem is... That's like a meme. Make him dab. I hate you. I will not actually do that. <laughs> I don't want to infect my beautiful art gallery with this awful meme. I have too many standards for that. Out of an IV bag? You are weird, Evangelos. Also, I think I saw you follow my Twitter. Nice to see you. Oh, that's my friend. Hey. Pay you double. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Um, hope you're enjoying yourself. Grab yourself a warm beverage of your choice. Or don't. Uh, it's up to you. Enjoy the sounds of uh, Banjo-Kazooie OST while I work on this drawing. Celebrating the announcement of Banjo and Smash. <laughs> Chibi Noid. Chibi Noid? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it would look like if I did it. 
With the most cutest face ever. Exactly. I don't like all these faces in my chat right now. Good. Y'all are scaring me. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> we finally did it, guys. We did the oh the the cir the W circle. And then they open their eyes. <laughs> hey guys, remember no, when Kira was going to go to sleep like 20 minutes ago or so? I didn't say I was going to go to sleep at a specific time. You said you were going to go to bed. I wanted to finish my drawing first. Yeah, I, I know. Been... I kind of lost motivation after losing the line art twice. Understandable. But I have another idea in mind for a doodle. I'm too gay to sleep, man. Finch from uh, Xenoblade Chronicles is adorable. It's the bird, the green bird. Oh, I thought you would talk about Riki. Riki? Yeah, look up Riki from Xenoblade Chronicles. You would probably love him. Oh yeah, that one's adorable too. Oh, but I prefer Finch. Really curious what Lux and Ten would look like in my style. Yeah, I would be down to draw them. Ten's a cool character in particular. I like him a lot. I actually have my own character named Ten. Oh. I could uh, show you him have real you quick. Him? Yeah, I want to see. Yeah, he's a stick figure. Oh, right. Right, right. Gotta sign into my Imgur. Imgur. Y'all remember the Gur song? My name is Gur. I can't sing it now. I got my own music playing. I made, dude. I made ten when I was like 13 years old when I first made this series of characters. There he is. In all his glory. Damn, it looks cool. I like that design. Because he got a coat. And you know I like coats. I used to um, use him as like my main character on uh, Flipnote. Oh, right. He was in one of your Flipnotes. Mm -hmm. I remember that. He was in a lot of my Flipnotes. <clears throat> Yeah. He has a feather staff, but yep. Oh, dude, Fission, you have no idea. You, you, you guys have no idea. Hold on, let me, let me grab this real quick. I'll show this off really quickly for you guys. Oh yeah, Latte has his own big series of them. So I've been like, man, another freaking. <laughs> Another time I go crazy with showing off shit on my computer. Alright, let me see. Uh... There it is. So this is the SF Chronicles redesign project. I've been working on this for a really long time. 
Um, I started making this series of characters back in 2013 when I made a comic book series called SF Chronicles, also known as Stick Figure Chronicles. And to this day, every time when I get bored and I feel like making a new set of characters, I just conjure up a bunch of stick figures. So here's all the characters for you to see. I'm going to scroll it down slowly. There we go. Oh man, there are a lot of characters Ugh. and this world that I've created has been fleshed out uh, quite a lot. I don't want to go into all the details, but I have a ridiculous, um, I have a ridiculous Google Doc that I'm working on very slowly <laughs> that has written details of the entire universe that this takes place in. Manage so many characters? I don't know, dude. You, when you've been doing this for over 10 years, I guess. When I was 13 years That's old, so that would be back in that. 2008. So. But. Really cool. I'm glad you think so. It is. I got, I made like one stick figure ever, stick figure character, and I gave it to Latte for his, for whatever he needs it. I think this is like over 270 something characters now. It's so many, but they're all so unique in their own way. I don't know what. Nyx is your new husband. <laughs> I like Nyx a lot. He's cool. I don't know what my favorite book would be. Of, like, book of characters at the moment. I have a lot of favorites. You can thank my wife for a lot of these. We work on these together. It's kind of been a collaborative project between the two of us. It used to just be my thing, but now it's pretty much our thing by this point. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, one one is very loosely based off of Regis, off Registeel. <laughs> mm. I guess it's your favorite of the Regis. Oh yeah, it is because you put it yeah on top. So there you guys go. Yeah, I love working on stuff with friends. Yellow, yellow. Yellow, yellow. Yellow, yellow. Back to the barren bird. Oh god. I'm scared, Cybex.
blue eyes, baby. Has this been the stream with the most distractions? Because it feels like it. Maybe. Maybe. Nine dollars. Okay, so flat color Noid. All right. Good luck with that. Forty-three percent. Thank you, Lux. And it's no problem, Cyvax. You really didn't need to do that, but you will get your commission. Um... I'm looking at your legendary list at the moment, Reg, and uh, I have to completely disagree about Entei. Raikou, yeah, but Suicune, yes, Suicune is perfect. Very pretty dog boy. For shading, I think. Make sure I got everything. Yeah. Alright, time for shading. I can get rid of this now. Please stop, Lux. Like, stop yourself. Except keep going. Alright. 
Shading time. Oh, shit. Whoa. Hiccups. That was cute. Psst. Thanks. Everybody type in chat if you think hiccups are cute. That's a weird thing to find cute. But... Hiccups are cute. <laughs> oh, that's a cute idea, Lux. You should look at what Lux posted. Hmm? Lux posted something about you in chat, and it's cute. But you have to see it, I can't just say it out loud, because it wouldn't make sense. <laughs> Aww. That's cute. Dang it, Lux, why you gotta, why, why you gotta, why you gotta pull my heartstrings like that? You can't DM on coffee, you gotta do, 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 do it on Discord. I don't think DMs exist for coffee. Which is weird because you'd think that they would have that be a thing. How long have we been streaming? Five hours? Goodness gracious. Five hours? It feels like you checked if it was two hours, like... An hour ago. Yeah. It's, uh, it's been five hours and twenty minutes. Oh, man. How about that? been a long stream. Yeah, yes.
Time flies when you drink coffee. Yes, I agree with that. And hmm. huge parting wisdom on Lux. Oh, yeah. Do that again. Oh, man, that was weak. Oh. I need to get a drink. <laughs> Gatorade. There you go. Sexy. Hell yeah. Guys, if you want to attract a lady, just burp on them. <laughs> Wise words from the coffee man. Ladiant. I mean, it works for both genders. So. This shading is looking like butter right now. It's beautiful. Thank you. Such a high yeah. compliment from the amazing <laughs> artist herself. Really though? But yeah, I like the work that you're doing with this. The pose is just it's fucking... Ah! The pose is really fitting. Thank you. I like how you did it. It's very appreciated. Hey, yeah, yeah, so. mm. Bills, have you? consider trying out Animal Royale? Because I know you play Royale games. Battle Royale games. If you're here. of this OST. Oh, we're getting to the end. Wow.
Oh, I understand, Bills. I forgot that you play on a uh, switch and console and stuff although I do believe that the SAR guys are planning on working on a switch port so and that's I actually really cool. yeah and I, and I actually really hope they do because I think that's going to like double the player base easily for those who don't have a PC that's fit for the game. I can only hope, though, that they do cross-platform. Mm -hmm. Don't... Don't force yourself to play 61, uh, 76, dude. Like... It's not worth it. Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright. Same, Reg and Lux. I'm not really a huge PC gamer. I'm more of a Switch guy. But having a gaming PC now has opened the door for me to actually play some games that I've been meaning to. Ugh. Main consoles of choice for me is like the Switch and the PS4. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but I gotta go because I'm gonna clean my room. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, see you all later. Take care. Good stream. Take care, Latte. And also, amazing drawing. I can't wait to see it done. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Kira has exited. Let's talk mad shit about her. Just kidding. We're getting close to the end of this drawing anyway, guys, so. Hope you've enjoyed yourselves. I know, right? They're just like so visually appealing as characters. I know everybody likes to talk shit about rareware character designs, but Banjo Kazooie are genuinely just really enjoyable to look at.
Okay. And then lighting again. How? How do you know my last name? Is it PayPal or something like that? Yeah, okay, I thought so. Yeah. I'd rather it, like, not be mentioned. Not because I give a shit, but, you know, people don't need me knowing that information just at the random. I mean, I do. I learn. It's. I don't like saying that though. I, I don't like mentioning it. Like, because I've had some people who are really uncomfortable with, like, their names just being thrown out there. So I just tend to, like, be like, hey, you know, I don't give a shit. I'm not going to say anything about it. So I try to avoid mentioning it. Just for posterity's sake. There's some people who are sensitive about it. I think it's so dumb. Like, no, you didn't do anything wrong, Cybax. It's fine. I just think it's so dumb that PayPal does that. I wish it didn't. But, it's not a big deal. Y'all wanna know my last name? It's good old Roach. It's not like you're gonna find anything by looking me up online because I have such a generic name. People used to call me Papa Roach back in high school. <laughs> I'm not even kidding about that. How is that badass? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, but don't mention it. I don't mind saying it, but... Mostly, the only reason I try to avoid um, saying my name and shit like that, even though it's really not that big deal, is because job opportunities and whatnot you know I have to keep it separated from my professional life Luminosity?
Okay. Should be at the final song, right? Or is that over? It's over! Oh, wow. Uh, I guess we'll start it from the beginning until I finish. <laughs> Thank you, Lux. I appreciate it. No. No, 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 no. I actually refuse to do that. I'm not gonna be... Like, despite all the things I've drawn in my life, I will not succumb to drawing that weird fetish shit. That is one of the strangest things I have ever seen, and I, I cannot. So, for anybody who doesn't know what Cyvax is talking about, there is a guy on the internet who commissions people to draw pictures of rich, blonde women, I think, specifically buying absorbent amounts of Wonder Bread. Like, like, giant cartfuls of Wonder Bread. I don't understand it. I don't get it. Rich white, it, it is a, it is a fetish. I think that it's actually like, like he's like confirmed that it's like a fetish thing. I don't know, dude. It it is, it's it's it is that guy's fetish specifically. I don't understand it, but I refuse to draw it. <laughs> I'm not gonna be a part of, not gonna be a part of that. I'm not gonna be a part of a, an imager compilation of that guy's weird fetish. I refuse. Thank <laughs> you. 
by eating Wonder Bread? I have no idea. No, I think it's actually, like, some capitalist statement or something like that. It's, like, I, I honestly don't know. It, it's, it's, like, completely, like, almost like a political, like, a socio-political thing. One of the strangest things I think I've ever encountered. <laughs> I think uh, I think we might be gun done guys I don't know I can't really think of anything else I want to do with this Gotta throw my signature on it. That, uh, I think that's it. That is the finished product. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate all the kind words. Let me go ahead and get this, uh, uploaded. Although I think that might be a lot of empty space. Give me a second. I want to see if this will fix it a bit. I might not change it at all, though. Hmm. space. Alright. He is a big ol' poofer. Gonna upload this to Twitter now.
All right. It's out on Twitter. Uh, thank you all so much for... Uh, thank, thank you all so much for watching the stream. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. It's been about six hours, goodness gracious. Um... We've been streaming for about six hours. Long time. Um, I'll let you guys look at the drawing before we end stream here. Right here. Um, I really appreciate having you all here. Makes the experience so much easier for me to uh, get through, you know. But uh, I made a couple of really cool pictures today. I'm really, really happy with this banjo picture. I think it turned out uh, fucking awesome. But, uh, once again, thank you all so much. Uh, I'll see you guys later, and uh, goodbye.